Be live and alive. Oh yeah, I'm just working on getting everything set up. Uh... Oh yeah, I have tea in here. Delicious. I need to get my little... Also, I smushed my finger darn good yesterday, and it still hurts. Yeah, I know that feeling. Sorry that happened to you. Um, it really only hurts when I press on it. But I keep pressing on it on accident because, you know, it's it's one of my fingers. It's kind of hard not to press on it, especially when you're, like, typing on a keyboard. Yarp. Um, yarp, yarp, yarp. Put it Let me... Oh my god, I need to close Clip Studio. Clip Studio, get out of here. You're drunk. Okay, so let me get... Uh, and I gotta get <coughs> Spotify pulled up. So I can listen to some music. 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 I wish I could just listen to the music I want to listen to, but I fucking can't. Because DMCA is a bitch. Because DMCA is a bitch. Hello? Uh. My mic stand is being funky. Mm -hmm. My mic stand's being weird. I haven't changed. Oh. I've literally changed. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just sitting in a weird spot. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me get into the game so that you can actually load into the game. No hurry. Oh, the hurry. Um, it's still loading. Okay, so I have loaded. Where's the road? Okay, so I have to hope that you will not uh, fall over uh, out of the world. You ready? Uh, no. Um. Okay, I will wait until you are ready. <clears throat> For some reason, my Steam updates are not updating. So, mm. it's a little disconcerting, but I don't technically need to do that right now. Uh, ah. Ooh, synth wave. I like what? synth wave. Okay, I believe I am prepared. Okay. I'm opening. It's not, it's not letting me open a lobby. Uh, let me exit out of the game and try again. Steam Friends is down. That's probably why. I bet Steam's doing their maintenance. They just haven't tweeted it yet. Yeah, last time we were- Because it's Tuesday. To... Yeah, we, last time we were still able to do things during the Steam maintenance though. Fair. Why do I have an octopus in my inventory game? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just a little curious. Where's the trailer? Oh, there's the trailer. You're not streaming yet, right? No, I am not. I'm just attempting to figure out my inventory for a second. Um, La buzz. I still don't have Steam friends, so I won't be able to join. <laughs> okay. Well, when I press refresh on lobbies, I am seeing lobbies pop up. Well, 
Yeah, I'm guessing your friends has now reconnected. Mine hasn't yet, so I'm restarting Steam. Oh. Yeah, I I had to like restart. So. I'm I'm just ready whenever you're ready. Oh no, the children. The children are screaming. Oh boy. Oh, I know why I'm sitting so fucking weird. It's my tablet still sitting in front of my face. Uh. That will contribute, I, yes. I was like, why? Why does it feel so weird to type on my uh, keyboard? Well, because my uh, keyboard was super far away from me. Um, I don't know what to type on my... Titles are hard. I made a, a joke. press a button and it doesn't work. Also, you should have gotten paid by Twitch recently. So I did. Oh, I haven't even checked. It's in it's impending, and I'm gonna immediately have to spend all of it and more uh, to pay off my credit card bill. Ray. <laughs> Just let me know when you're ready. Still waiting on Steam to connect. Okay. I really can't do anything till Steam is no longer down for me. Yep, I know. I mean, I can do stuff. I can do like car maintenance. Yeah, feel free to do that if you wish. So, I will do that. I gotta get the family all put back up. Yeah, the family went missing. Once again. So, you know. Go get Mira and Patricia. And Tom. pants and evil in the flowers and a Thulean. and I gotta find your little octopus dude and put him back up for you I really wish they wouldn't do that do what? fall off yeah Ooh, chucky bar um and i 
can just do some stuff like refill the oil in case it needs refilled and body body but I bit a bit a bit a bit well while I'm waiting Yep. Heck yeah. Our oil is all full. That makes it sound like I'm saying the oil is awful. And that is definitely not what I mean. Mm hmm. The jams are revolting. Okay. Oh, well, and I guess I'll check. Is our radiator still doing good? 10 liters full of water. Oh, of course it did that. Uh, how's our tank doing? 123, still doing fine. There's a whole ass refrigerator in here. Need that shit out of my way! Gotta go on an adventure. An adventure involves... Uh, 70% gas, 30% oil. We don't want that. We don't want any of this shit. Lots of mixed gas and oil in here. human limb because you know that's normal okay Oh yeah, this music. I'm being bonked by Adol. Hello, Adol. Oh, hello, Liquid. I'm a bonk? I mean... Uh, yeah? Y y yeah. I am a bonk. Hello. I hope you're going good tonight. Hello. Music makes me feel like I'm in some sort of like action game from the early 90s. Uh, and I'm fucking living for it. How you doing, Liquid? Like oh, right. You already mentioned it once before, but I do think it's hilarious when you pick up the football. The football. Uh, it shows up as a giraffe. You don't play soccer with giraffes? Hmm? You don't play soccer with giraffes? 
no, you don't play you don't play the football with giraffes, no. I'm gonna turn this music down just a little bit. Been kinda sick the past two days? No, liquid no. How oh Yes sir. Hey big Wilkes. Hello Wilkes. Don't fuck oh, with the doing? science team! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hey, when did that raise up? I thought we could only fit 1,500 liters in our tank, but it says we can fit 3,000. Hello, Gordon. What? I'm well, little sleepy. Hmm. I'm trying my best. I think I may have re-injured my shoulder. No, at all. You must take care of yourself. Uh, also, we are waiting for Dice's Steam friends list to let him in. Uh, he's been locked out. I'm saying this facetiously. His Steam friends list is down. Um, mine is up. My overall Steam connection seems to be temperamental. So my mine is up, but his is not. So we are unfortunately unable to... Uh... uh connect together quite yet but uh, I can I can do some car maintenance um, which is just making making the car look prettier oh that nope that's not what I wanted oh that's not what I wanted either stop going inside the car thank you um, At some point, I'm sure we're going to have to give up our my license plates. But for right now, I'm collecting license plates. Um, I guess I'll also check on the stuff in the back here. Everything seems to be doing fine. Okay, I think I have Steam friends again. I think. Okay. Tight. <laughs> Sorry for the delay, folks. Uh, you want me to let you in? Not yet. I have to load up the game. Okay. Where's the sun? Oh, directly overhead. The sun's not a hexagon this time. Uh, I already scavenged everything I think uh, that we could out of the... Oh, dear. I think I'm ready to join. Okay, let me... Okay. Uh, three, two, one. It's open. I think I might be joining, maybe. Um... I didn't see it. Oh, now I see you. Now I have it. I have it on friends only, so... But I apparently need- I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer to... Oh my god, that is a number. Ah, fuck. We got another person in. It's friends only. How is somebody joining us? I can't... <sighs> Give me a second. Obviously, I'm going to have to reload because somebody's in here. Yeah. Who isn't supposed to be. I don't know why you just join people's worlds. What's the point? Okay. I got to make sure everything's still fine on the car. I don't think... I think since I was still paused, they couldn't really, like, fuck anything up. Also, this is why I try to stand, like, a little bit away from the... Okay, I'm gonna... Create... Uh. It's on friends only right now, so I'm just letting it sit for a second. I'm ready. Okay. I'm gonna move over into... Okay, wait. Let me... 
I know we've tested this before. Is it, it it's shift tab, right? Yeah. Can I? Yeah, there's only remote play together for the long drive. Mm -hmm. I can't. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it to public uh, now. Okay, I saw you. I see your MMS. Or you're just your MS. Oh, you're in the ground. Well, I was hoping that I was far enough down the hill up that you could still get in the car. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can still get in the car. Okay. So I'm going to make sure nobody else is on. Cool, tight. I also left the door open for you because I thought you'd need that. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta make sure everybody's in here. So Patricia, Mira, Tom, Pants, Eva Flowers, Anatolian, and Kay. Close. Uh, I know Kay wants to be. And there was one other person. This is why we did the Discord thing. Because I'm trying to remember off the top of my head who that was, and I can't. Opalish. Opalish, yes. So when we find more bats, we need to find two more bats. At least. And then this whole entire uh, thing is just going to be covered in bats, apparently. But we will... Get going. Oh, we need to slow down just a little bit. Oh. We rolled. I think we lost one thing. Let me check. Oh, we lost the purple uh, air sanitizer. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, I do cool. notice that that we we do flip a little more often with the trailer because mm -hmm. the trailer flips and then we flip. But you know what? That was my bad. I should have been should have been a little bit more careful trying to get down this down this hill. I was like, oh, it's not that steep. Haha, I got this. And then I didn't have it. I didn't have it at all. I didn't have it. Didn't got it. But if I put the handbrake on, I'm just glad that we have a while to go that's still flat land. Is the handbrake on right now? It is. Oh, don't hit a cactus. Don't hit a cactus. Don't hit a cactus. I hit a tree. We lost the headlights, but I think that's it. Yeah, we lost both headlights and that's a rock. I literally think it's just the headlights. Yeah. Which is an easy fix. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, bud. Fuck yeah, bud. It takes me a little bit to get, like, back into practice. Every time I don't play this game, I have mm. to, like, sit and then be like, okay, how do I how do I play this game again? How do I drive? Long way. Oh. I'm not, I mean... Okay, technically I'm good at that. I was about to be like, oh, I'm not good at driving longly, but like, no, I, I really am. I am good at long drives. Hello, Gordon. Hey, Cybrick. How you doing? It'd be really I'll cool go. if this game had a better way of tracking like how far you've gone. Mm -hmm. over like you having to save to see how far you've gone but once again game's not done yet yeah still being worked on um cause
there was like some sort of counter up in the top that like kept track of your mileage. Mm. That'd be pretty neat. Yeah. Because the odometer is not correct. It is in fact very, very, very incorrect. I don't think there's a way, obviously resetting it isn't going to help us anyways. Unless I managed to hit like exactly 2000 uh, and then like managed to reset it down to zero and then we knew when it hit 3000 that we'd be done. It's 5000. Yeah, no, I'm meaning like if I reset it back to zero at 2000 kilometers, when it hit 3000, we would have gone a total of 5000. Oh, yeah, but. Uh, I don't think I can reset the odometer, though. Yeah, if you could, even if you like stopped it again, a whole number that's like reasonable, like 1800 or 1850 resetting mm -hmm. it. You just take that number and add that value to it and get the total mileage. You would have to do that because I would need it to be <clears throat> like 2000, 2000 to be able to add. Uh, but you know what I mean? I know what you mean. I just, I mean, I could actually, yeah, all I could do is dismount it. I can't. I can't do anything with that, but it says it's 9,473 kilometers. So it's like, it's very clearly not correct. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm going to stop into this place here real quick. See if there's any diesel. I don't think there's going to be, but. No harm in checking rolls super fast. I don't even see any fluid containers. There's a fridge and boxes and some small things. Are there any gold bars? <sighs> I found a gold bar. Okay. <laughs> Ankle bars. I think that makes 16. Good more than Josh. Because each basket right now has four in them. So four, eight, 12, 16. Yeah. I set it out so I didn't have to count them. Because I just know how many's in a freaking bucket. But yeah, I didn't really see anything in there. Other than gold buyers. So I'm just kind of on this straight away. I like the fact that I could just clip into the back of the trailer. Mm -hmm. Be like, is everything sitting right back there? Be like, yes, yes, everything's everything's correct. Okay. Since it is starting to get dark, I'm going to list stop and go to sleep. Okay, off we go. We gotta get moving. Gotta go so far, so fast. We're doing it. We are doing it. I 
Haven't seen any boats. By the way. Uh, don't hit a rock. So good no. at this game. No, come along in due time, I'm sure. Hmm? The boats will come along in due time, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just mentioning like I'm I am trying to keep an eye out for him. Oh yeah. Like we don't super need one, obviously. We still have seven hundred liters. Yeah. An additional like hundred and twenty something in the tank itself. And I'm currently coasting, so we shouldn't be burning that much gas. We shouldn't be burning any gas, technically, if the engine's off. That's one of the things I do like about being in this area, where it's the the, the arid flatlands, is I can just coast instead. And it's like getting into the really hilly areas that kills us on the gas. Yeah. So, the more that I can just chill and not do anything in terms of turning on the engine and running the engine, the better. Oh, don't crack too hard. That's what kills you. That's what kills the truck. Oh, there's another place to stop up here. So we'll stop there. There's a better chance of there being diesel in this place. Because it's one of the... Well, no, not really. Even in the diners, there's not like a super chance of us finding diesel. Oh, God. A whole ass bus just spawned. Yeah. Well, engine off. I do see a couple of drums. At least one. Okay, doke. Uh, and I'll check the... Okay, their coolant is empty. We got 28 liters of diesel here. Their oil tank does have oil in it, but we're good. Where'd the drum go? I don't know. Where did it go? I had it next to the truck here for a second, then it disappeared. Um, I don't see it. Oh, it's and only I, 28 liters. I was nowhere near you. It's probably it probably desynced out of the world because you're still like inside the world. Uh, let me grab this one. Okay. So when you put it down, it probably fell through my plane and it's just uh the the world has it now. The the endless yawning pit underneath us has it now. Can I manage to open this? Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, we almost have 800 liters. I gotta be happy if, like, the sink issues got fixed. I understand there's gonna be some jank and weirdness and whatnot. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Just the sink stuff is pretty painful. Things like that. Yeah, it is, definitely. Is there anything we need really need to clean? I think everything's pretty much clean. Yeah. I think we're good there. That's the empty one. I am gonna see. Let me in. 
I wanted to see if I could see it like falling through the world, but I, if it is, it's like super far down, so I'm not gonna. I could I could get pretty far away, but I don't I don't see it. Um, let's see. I think I checked all the bus stuff, but let me just check this fuel tank empty. There's never been anything in that little compartment, but every day, every time I check. Um. A little storage thing? Yeah, the little tiny, like, storage container. Uh, whoop. Doesn't look like there's anything really that all that interesting on the roof. I'm gonna guess this. Fuel tank. Where is the fucking fuel tank on this car? What's the oil tank? Where do you put the fuel in? Oh, Front here. Right. It's empty. What color is this? It has no indicator. Oh, it's blue, I think. Or it's black. Either way, who cares? It's not for us. In. Let's get moving. We got a little bit more diesel. Yeah. So. That's what's important. No boats on the horizon. That's fine, because we're coasting down this hill. Yeah, I just wish the physics issue, which is the same thing as the sink issue, or the desync. Um, I wish that would get fixed. Yeah. Uh, because the fact that, like, my camera jumps around, uh, with what, what I, oh, excuse me, definitely understand is, um, your... Like, it seems to be the same pattern as when I'm looking over it on your screen and seeing, like, the trailer reset itself or see, like, stuff falling with you. It's, it's like, that same rhythm. And it goes away, like, as soon as we leave the vicinity of a building where I'm guessing the shit despawns. Hmm. Because it does seem that, like, only within a certain amount of, like, meters do items actually spawn in. Mm hmm That's why I, half the time I see them just fall through the world, because, like, the floor, the items have loaded, but the floor hasn't. Which is just really goofy. Yeah. Like, I'm fine with them keeping, like, the severed limbs and, like, the attachment system and the aliens and the psycho bunnies and all the other weird crap. Like, that doesn't bother me. I think that's part of the charm of the game. Mm hmm The desync physics is not part of that, in my opinion. Oh, no. No, I don't think that... It, I don't think it is. Definitely not. Handbrake is off. Okay. And I know uh, the dev has said they're working on making it more stable. Yeah. But uh, who was it who explained that they're just waiting for like a different version? I think of like the physics engine or something to come out. Uh, you might be conflating what my discussion with the hydroneer dev was saying. Oh, right, maybe. Everything gets very confused up in my brain. Mm hmm. Because they don't they don't have true multiplayer right now in Hydroneer. They only have remote play. Yeah. 
because of the physics limitations of the current engine they have, is what they oh, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and if they had true multiplayer in that game, I think it'd be a, uh, a hoot to play. Um, mm -hmm. But it's not there yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you were telling me. So it's not this game that, that they're waiting on that. It's Hydronair. Admittedly, Hydronair's physics are more complicated because you have dynamic terrain and theoretically infinite uh, voxels. Mm hmm. Well, they spun out just a little bit, but I'm getting us back on track. You know, I'm fine. You think at this post-apocalyptic, it lit a post, um, apocalyptic post, yeah, post-apocalyptic world that at least we would have found a dolly and want to keep it along to help, you know, transport shit. Sorry, uh -huh. I was just thinking about the fact that it's so stupid that when, if you fill up an entire barrel, that the barrel fucking can't, like you, that you can't lift the barrel if. The barrel is completely filled up. And That's I was just not thinking about too unrealistic, though. Yeah, but I'm sitting there like, put it on a dolly then. Like that's what oh, they're yeah. made for. They're made for you to like, you know, help you carry shit that you can't. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, like filling up the barrel is realistic. Not being able to, but like even in this post-apocalyptic world, why wouldn't you at least, you know, fucking have a dolly? It's not like they're, you know, that hard to, to carry around. Mm -hmm. Especially now that they can even like fold up. Like the one I I'm have? trying to, I'm trying, yeah, like the one we have. I'm just trying to apply logic to a game where there's, flying there's bunnies. like gigantic murderous bunnies running around. So, and also in UFOs. You know, there's there's no logic when you involve UFOs in a game. So. Oh yeah. Mm, handbrake on or off? Handbrake on. I'm just letting us cruise at whatever speed this is. Oh, I mean, it's almost like 80 kilometers per hour, so. Making good good speed, making good time. Yeah. It just, it feels way slower than that in like the outside view. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, we're only going like 30. No, we're, 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 we're grooving right now. We're going pretty fast, but it's not like an unreasonable amount, so. It looks like there's a factory coming up here soon. I don't think that's actually what the building's supposed to be, but that's kind of one of the things in this game is you just like make up your own words for shit. Yeah. There's no established like, here's what the buildings are. Obviously like some of them, like the guy, diners, the diner, um, the diner slash gas station. Like you can understand that it's a diner slash a gas station. It's pretty obviously a restaurant with a gas station in front. There is an unofficial wiki that has some names for things, but again, it's not official. So yeah, it's sort of also, like the, I haven't looked at it. It's sort of like these Kuna's like guys to people playing this game so much that they. Mm -hmm. Figure out a bunch of the stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm still going to call the building that we're coming up on a factory because that's what it looks like to me. Okay. I mean, does the unofficial wiki have a better name for it? Uh, I can look.
They call it the bridge building. You know what? I don't know why I expected anything different. Uh, I kind of like calling it a factory. Over calling it a bridge building. Oh, what's this? Oh, it is water. And what you were talking about earlier with the diner, they just called it the diner. They didn't even mention the gas station. Mm -hmm. That's sort of obvious, and not, you know. Oh yeah, and most of the time I just call it a diner personally because it's it's easier than calling it the diner slash gas station. Oh, there's just a toilet. Goodbye, toilet. Uh. Funny enough, they do have that gravestone with the cross as a mm -hmm. building. Huh. You can't do anything with it, though. True. I wonder if you could run into it and, like, break it. I doubt it. Mm. Uh, let's see what the wiki says. Hey! The cross is a uh, tall structure representing the death of someone. No items spawn near it, and it seems to serve no purpose. It is not destructible, so it will prove fatal if you hit this on accident. Oh. Mm. Oh, there's just an arm here. Great, that's tight. Um. Also, the rock arc is categorized as a building. Oh, is that the rocks with the big holes in them that I keep seeing? Mm hmm. It's oh, like, yeah. It's like an arc, yeah. We have not been going to go see those because they're generally very, very far off the beaten path. They look cool, but... There's nothing to them though, really. Yeah, they're just shit to see. Um, there was nothing in there. But I guess you could look up how the sponge works. You want to look at the sponge? Sure. Sponge. Sponge. An item for improving the cosmetic appearance of cars. Similar to polish, the sponge can restore rough, faded body parts to a shiny finish. If a body part is very rusty, a wire brush should be used on it first. Hmm. There's more to it, but uh, like how to actually input use it. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. How far have y'all gone so far? Um, also, hello, Marie. Hey, Marie. Uh, let me save. Unfortunately, you the only way to see is to save 1725 kilometers out of 5,000. So, ah, there's a boat so far away. Get out of my way. We're probably not going to be able to get to that boat. I don't know. Uh, no, the road doesn't curve close enough. Um, so yeah, like I'm actually, we've actually been playing the game as intended and actually like legitimately driving. Um, so. I was just lamenting that there isn't like a counter anywhere except if you save. Uh, to actually see how far you've driven. Yeah, there's no general trip odometer like you can in a normal car. Like there's the overall odometer of the car's like lifetime, and you can yeah. set a trip once in most cars these days. Yeah, and and the thing is, is is if you get an odometer from a different car, like the like the odometer we have in the truck right now is not the odometer that came with. Uh, the vehicle because we lost it because uh, you know I probably ran into a electrical pole um, so it currently says that we've gone 9,000 miles which is not correct that's very incorrect um, and there's no way to reset it 
which is a shame. So, anytime somebody's like, "How far have you gone?" I'm like, "Okay, hey, let me let me stop and save." Which is not a problem. Like, it's it, we need to be saving. The game should just be better about it, though. The game should be better about it. The game should have it like in the top right or something. Like, how far you've actually gone, so yeah. people don't have to stop and save every single time. But that's another reason, like, I've been trying to delete the saves is so that my saves don't keep getting bloated. Um, and I just keep trying to overwrite the same save so that this my saves don't get bloated up. Because I think that if you just do a new save every single time, like, your, your saves are really going to start getting bloated. Um, but... Yeah, we're not going for that ship unless our road really curves over. But, I mean, this game is just a nice, fun, relaxing time for the most part. Obviously, when we start getting into Iceland, I, I definitely find it less relaxing. Uh, but that's because Iceland sucks in this game. Uh, and, and I typically just... I, I have started making my own names for things. Uh, and Iceland is just like this super hilly area. It's very pretty. It's a very pretty area, but it is also a, a deeply... There's more than just the desert, yeah. There's like a ton of different biomes. I was um, like three. Three or four. Deserts. Grassland. Snow. And like the really hilly. Area. I think I still kind of as part of the snow biome. Oh. Uh... I guess, yeah, maybe. But you've never seen the desert? Well, here it is. You've only ever seen the desert? Well... It is the most common. Uh, yeah, we might be able to get out into some not desert. The thing is, is like with the grasslands, I turned the grass off because it was literally trying to murder my computer. Um, so... You don't really see the grassland as the grassland. You just see it as a uh... green desert. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's essentially green desert. Um, this game is not well optimized, so I just you know I make do. Uh, and then the hill when I I hope I don't show it to you because I, I legitimately fucking hate that area. It's the worst. Uh, our truck, as you can imagine, so we've got the truck, but we've got a, a bus engine, and then we got a fuel tank, and then a trailer, and then uh, 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 I got stuff in the trailer. <coughs> oh, Dice's PC doesn't hate the game. The game hates Dice's PC. Um, the game hates Dice's anyone who's not a host. Yeah, I was like, if if Dice was hosting, like things would be cool, and my game would be freaking the fuck out. But, um, but yeah, our truck is very uh, back heavy. I hit a cactus. Um, so it's hard for uh the truck to climb hills. Uh, and uh. Oh, that's just a whole ass car. Yep. Uh, so generally in Iceland, which I call the hilly area, uh, I, we end up having to like switch back off the road to get to places. But <laughs> okay. Oh God, that's you. You scared the fucking shit out of me. Hi. Both barrels are empty. Yeah, and I don't really care about looking. I just wanted to also see other bats. I don't see any. Oh, oh, don't, don't get, don't get the bug. I don't want the flying bug. Not today. Let's just move this whole ass refrigerator out of the way. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you can lift a fridge, no problem. Oh yeah. Doesn't super look like there's anything in here. 
Uh, I'm gonna... Woo! Coolant, empty... I'll take empty, coolant, empty. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's really anything. It was worth uh, attempting to see, though. Because those oil drums could have had diesel in them. Yep. So, back we go. To continue onward. But yeah, the game's a, the game's a lot of, of this. Hello, it's it's a lot of me driving and then uh, getting out and just staring at stuff. I am trying to find uh, gold bars. So. What? What, Mari? Oh, preemptive bonk. My bot knows. <laughs> I actually uh, have that is one of my channel redeems is the uh, the sounds is the bonk. Oh yeah. It is always needed. Oh, there it is. Ah, there's cactus in the road. There it is, bonk. I even I made it three up. points. Why three? So that you could get, uh, like, so that you could potentially get to 69. Fair. And it was just the easiest way for me to do it. Uh, cause I'm shit at math. First! Oh my god, Mari, Mari got the first. Oh my god. So amazing. Oops. Okay. I am unfortunately in charge of a vehicle, so I cannot type it out. But no, that because you made first. Your first place in my heart. <laughs> While I was attempting to go up this hill as slowly as possible. <laughs> Doesn't mean what? Doesn't mean what, Mari? Doesn't mean what, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I set my clippy to pick any random clip from all time. Uh, so you get some you get some fun ones, especially if you start getting people's like really really old clips. Um. Well, I just kept, like, I would shout people out and it would just be the same clip just over and over again. So I was like, I need to set this where I can actually get some really old clips. You got the first, Mari. Congrats. Oh, so yeah, Dice is, Dice is first is all automated. Uh, I still need to do my hydrate, but let me see if I can do it with this stretcher road, huh? Uh, yum, 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 yum. I I automate a lot of things. You do. It's not bad. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, 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 sir. I love that sound clip. Oh, yeah. So cute. Thank you for the hydrate and the posture check. Yes. I don't need a posture check. I'm not slouching. Occasionally the back of our truck like lights up green and I don't understand why. Uh, the octopus eyes? Maybe. See, it just did it now. You're talking about the back of the trailer. Yeah. Yeah, the octopus eyes, they glow. 
They're missive. Yeah, it's just very weird. I guess maybe they swing up at some point. Yeah. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. It's -a me. Green modes are so cute. I for keep forgetting to tell you that. Thank you. I appreciate that. I I worked hard on them. It's a me, Mario. I've already decreed you're not allowed to turn me down, by the way. <laughs> for the... For the, uh... Presents! <laughs> I'm gonna make it as, like, a sticker, because I'm sure you probably have more... You have... You have probably plenty of sticker slots. I have more sticker slots than I know what to do with, so... But I had the idea, and I was like, I have to make this. And I was like, I don't even want it to be an emote. I want it to be a sticker. You have 15 open right now? Yeah, I've got an obscene amount open right now. No, that's a pole! So... I'm just gonna work on it, like, kind of day by day. <laughs> and, and see if I can get it to where I want it to be. So, expect that to show up at some point in your DMs. <laughs> okay, let's go sippy time. Very curious to see the finished product. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Car's still off. Okay. Handbrake is off. <laughs> Even I don't know what the finished product is going to look like. But I have discovered if I have an idea, then I just need to roll with it. Uh, uh, and see where it takes me. I need to figure out some more ideas for you, Dice. Okay. I just haven't really had any dumb jokes hit me in you know in the middle of something hmm. with you yet. Well, I got the screen cap thing pretty much where I wanted, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, have you tested to see what it looks like on, like, a super light background? Like, uh, the long drive? Rip. That would be so weird if it wouldn't work. Why would it make it crash? I didn't well, I didn't even get to that part. Me putting focus on my chat window crashed it. Wow. Because OBS yeah. is a stable piece of software. It, well, now your stream is. Uh, I know, I know. On an adventure. <laughs> it's a side effect of having the anchor centered. It the orientation goes back to the upper left every time my OBS loads. So mm -hmm. it's centered from the upper left corner. Ah. Uh, that makes sense. WTF taking me to channel page versus stream. I saw we koi fish. Also, I figured I'd, I, I would just keep driving while you were working on the stuff. 
uh, you know. Oh, yeah. Give me this engine. What's in it? Ugh. Oil, alcohol, and diesel. Oh, fuck that. Uh, coolant is empty. Don't need in the bus. There's never anything in the bus. Fuel tank. 52 liters of 100% diesel. Uh, that might be worth it. So I will grab one of these. I've got to go grab There we berry. go. That fixed it. Hell yeah. Hopefully uh, the YouTube fod isn't killed. Totally borked. Yeah. Okay. It's so much easier to just turn things around doing that. Um, okay. Let's see if we can get... Also, hello, koi fish. How are you hey, tonight? Fish. Um, let's see. Jill needs a rest. Jill had a hard day. Um, oops. Let's grab Barry. Uh, uh. I think I saved the YouTube VOD. It's gonna look weird, I'm sure. Hell, yeah. Cool. I mean, I'll be glad if you manage to save it. It's not the worst thing in the world. It just means I have to kill the current recording on YouTube and whenever Twitch is done, export it. Which has worse quality, but it's a VOD. Who cares? No! Stick it. What are they going to do? Oh, yeah. The screenshot. Hopefully this still works. Okay. Ah, so it's it's definitely very subtle on a light screen. Yeah, which is what but, was pretty expected. Yeah, that's what we wanted. My hand is just loot like jiggling. This game has jiggle physics, but it's not for what you expect. Yeah, that's all put together now. So it um, has a screen flashing effect on the borders to make it look like a camera flash. It has a sound effect to it. And everything else still works. So I'm pretty happy. Assuming OBS doesn't crash regularly. Mm hmm. Got some lack of sugar shapes there. Yeah. As Dice just watches the trailer, just having a moment. Mm hmm. I'm just letting this drain slowly because it's draining and I don't want to fuck it up. So however long it needs to take, it can it can it can it can take that amount of time. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to shake my fist at 50 liters of diesel. I like how, like, every liter, essentially, the sound resets as well. <laughs> it's just like, hmm, good jobber. Oh, Koi Fish, I think there's um, a setting in Franker's face extension that allows you to tweak with that for the yep. default part of a person's channel. Like whether or not it's like theater mode and the actual vid like stream itself versus like the about page or whatever. Like, I think there's some settings in there for it. Uh, volume levels are all over. Tum is super loud. I'm super quiet. Um, That might also be just I, I am generally a very quiet person or at least i try to be on stream i mean i'm, I'm not very quiet in real life i have uh i'm hard of hearing so i try to just be very quiet on stream uh because uh although if i don't if i don't talk very quietly people tell me i'm yelling 
frequently. Straight. Oh no! Barry, get in there! Barry! So first things first, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna preemptively open the tank up top. Cause this some bitch heavy. Never had an issue with your stream volume before? I mean, I haven't changed anything except like the gain on my microphone, which I do like move up and down occasionally. Okay, how do I want to do this? Can I just get up here? Ah! Blah, blah. Uh, Phil, please. Hello? Game. Why won't it let me fill? Did I? Oh, did I just fill it all already? Was it that fast? Oh Filling yeah. The main tank goes super quick. Yeah. Yeah, it goes super quick. Now we have eight hundred and fifty-two. Nice. I think it's Twitch then? Hmm. Well, hopefully you can get it worked out, Quayfish. You're allowed on Dice's stream? He might also have me up in Discord as well. Uh, let me check. I have you at 150% in Discord because generally you are a little on the quiet side because you're soft spoken. Yeah, well, I mean, I can turn my gain up. I just... If I turn my gain up, then you all end up hearing... Like, the dehumidifier and stuff in the background, and... Oh no, 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 where are you going on adventure? I need to stop talking for just a second. Holy. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Um, there's, like, there's a lot of, like, ambient noise that I can't really noise gate out very well so um and also i do like i'm in the living room and uh we don't have anything hung up yet as a breaker in between our living room and like the front door so i'm trying to just oh boy we're just gonna go on an adventure i'm gonna not hit this cactus i'm not gonna hit it you think it is Twitch? Yeah. It might be Twitch. It might be Twitch being a butthole. I'll turn up the gain on my microphone as well. Just a little bit. Um. Yeah, I can't gate your AC out. So bzz, yeah. That's about how I feel. It's actually, uh, Dice has the worst problem with that. Since you're sitting, like, right on top of the... Like tank fan. port, yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm running my mic through a compressor, a a signal cleanup filter, uh, decompressor, and NVIDIA's uh, RTX voice broadcast, whatever they fucking call it these days, um, mm -hmm. to clean up all of my mic signaling. So it comes off actually rather clean despite the ambient noise. Oh, yeah. Um, the only problem I had for a while was a little bit of echo off the front wall. But I put a audio film cheap shit off of uh, uh, Amazon. And it seems to be working well enough um, with a Yeti Pro X. You know, it's not the best mic in the world. Mm, yeah, I don't have I don't have shit. I have like a compressor. I have a compressor in OBS and that's it. Uh... I think that one's really worth stopping. So we're not gonna bother. Theoretically, you should be able to run RTX voice as well. Um, Theoretically. I ran it when I had your card. Mm -hmm. But I don't. Because I don't care. I don't think my audio sounds that bad. So. And like I'm sitting right now, uh, like if I look at my levels in OBS, um, like if I'm not talking, there's nothing happening on my microphone. So it's only when I'm talking 
And then when I'm talking, it's going into the red. Which apparently is stuff that, that like, apparently you're not supposed to have it go into the red, but like literally, unless I'm going into the red, people can't hear me. So. IDK fan. My, yeah, mine just goes to the upper bound of the yellow. That's where I have, that's the other filter I had. It's a uh, volume cap where no matter how loud I am, it will never go beyond that volume level, so I don't blow out people's eardrums by accident. Mm hmm Because I am a loud no, I mouth. Think, yeah, I think blowing up people's eardrums is just part of my uh, stream at this point. <laughs> With me, like, gremlin laughing. I do try to, like, lean away from the microphone if I have to, if I have, like, a really big gremlin laugh fit. And hey, nothing is, is is as bad as my Xenoblade early stuff. So, oh no, my microphone's going on an adventure. Here we go, it's back on. Doggo. 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 Oh no. Well, I guess we're just we're just gonna we're just gonna do that. <laughs> Valor a lollip crack my speakers. Valor scares the crap out of your cats. No. I generally try to be really chill, but I haven't really been playing. Oh, give me a second. I need to change positions. Um, I don't really play anything that would. At right now, I don't play anything that would really. Uh, test my microphone because uh, I haven't really I don't really play horror games I, I tend to play like way more relaxing games so I'm able to keep my voice at a lower level but I'm sure if I had a lot of games where I was like screaming more because uh, horror games scare the absolute fucking piss out of me then yeah. You got some decibels going when you're playing Midnight Ghost Hunt. True. Also, that that was also just mostly because I was yelling at other people. Yeah, but still. Yeah, when I'm playing a multiplayer game with somebody who's not as chill as you are, then yeah, I I, I do admit I can I can get the the noise going. I think it is time to go seepy seeps. For it is very dark at night. It's dork. And I need to see things. I hit a cactus. With my Thank side you. mirror. So it shouldn't have gone into the car at all. I was trying to avoid it. I didn't expect my side mirror to smack it. You look at the cactus in this game and they fall apart, so... No cacti is safe from my car. Ignore the fact that I'm driving past several of them right now. Also, yes, I am aware of the fact that it's technically a truck and not a car. But I'm still going to call it a car. It is an automobile. <gasps> oh, what are you doing? Game? Oh, I like how Sylvia is just straight up making a visit in, in your view. Oh, yeah. Sylvia's straight up like, what's going on in here? Just dipping their ass in. Mm -hmm. She's hot. She needs a nap. Somewhere where it's cooler. I actually don't expect it's any cooler in this truck. 
pretty sure we have no AC, so. Okay. In the roof? Yeah. I mean, we're still in, like, a gigantic metal box. With, like, no AC. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be pretty hot inside as well. Oh, there's a place to stop. Mm, do we want to stop here? Yeah, we'll stop here. might be something. I mean, there's, there's gun. Not very helpful to us. 100% gas. Brown paint. We don't like brown paint. Uh, not even a gold bar generator. Like a shutter? Yeah. So that's where gold bars land, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think I I found a gold bar that was not in the pooper. So. Fair enough. I'm pretty sure every single one of those gold bars we found has been in an outhouse, which are so for some reason completely made out of metal, which I also don't quite understand. Why is your outhouse completely? metal that would be so hot in uh, the summer, you know, in the desert. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to check my <gasps> Tum Tum is live. Yep, so is Valor and Judja. Uh, can't work on anybody because I'm driving. So maybe if we take a break to like stand up or something, I'll oh, oh, make sure they get alert. Oh, looks like we're driving into a sandstorm. But uh. Still have seen no. Uh, looks like it's time to turn my macro on. Um, doesn't look like we've seen any boats either. They haven't been like super far away. I can take care of this second to put my Fitbit back on. There we go. Like, we deviated just a little bit off the road, but... Yeah. Hopefully this is, does not mean we're going back into Iceland, So I really don't want to. For a second, I thought the sandstorm was actually going to be a problem, but it's really not. No, it was just like a visual thing, really. Yeah, I just thought it was going to, like, block off my sight a little bit more than it does. But anytime I keep getting even anywhere near, like, having my sight obscured, it clears up. I was like, aw. I kind of like the idea of a sandstorm, like, actually obscuring your vision. I mean, I, I definitely don't like the idea of, like, having to stop because there's just a bunch of sand in your engine, but... Oh, 
Ah, I left my fucking bear. Okay, I'll just. I can't believe I did that. I'm so used to, like, when we're in, like, when we find one of the boats to just dump off the barrels that I forgot that that's a barrel I actually wanted to keep. And so I just dumped it off the side and drove off, and I just realized, I just remembered that I did that. Oh, well. Oh, well, I mean, we can get another one someplace else. It's not that big of a deal. It was just like, wow, I can't believe I did that. Hmm. Force of habit. Okay, I'm going to turn my macro off. Man, this music just makes me want to listen to the Tyrion 2000 soundtrack. But I cannot. I am denied. It was actually really kind of funny. I, uh... They did- they released, uh, Tyrion 2000 on GOG. And I played the shit out of Tyrion 2000 in, uh, when I was a kid. I don't know if you know anything about that game. Me, no. Okay, so it's a- it's a... Top-down shooter in the sense of, like... Uh, what's that old game where you, like, the old arcade game where you shot, like, the aliens? Area 51? No, it was... You're a little ship, and they're, like, the aliens come down from the top, and you have to shoot them. Galaga. Yeah. So it's like that, except, you know, nicer graphics for, you know, like, a 2000 game. Hmm. Um, but you're... Uh, there's some sort of story and I don't quite remember what this story is all I know is that like I think you're some guy in, in oh are we going on an adventure apparently um, you're trying to find a conspiracy in the far far future or like trying to solve a conspiracy that you're a part of um but you keep going to different planets and um, blowing up everything in your way, <laughs> you know, essentially. Uh, and then, like, uh, the story goes as you're going to different planets and you can keep, like, buying upgrades for your ship as you do the missions and get money and stuff like that. It's a, it's a very, very fun game. And I remember playing the shit out of it when I was a kid. And then when they released it on GOG, I was like, oh, I'm going to play this again because I fucking love this game. Um, and I started playing it again, and I am way worse at it than I was when I was a kid. And I was like, I don't understand how this happened. I do, like, logistically, I understand because I probably had better, like, hand-eye coordination as a child, but... I was like, I'm dying so much on a level I should not be dying on. So I have not gone back and played it, but I love that game so much. I played that one. I played a, like, I think it's called Jazz the Jackrabbit or something, or Jazz Jackrabbit or something. I played the shit out of that game, too. Hit the cactus. Don't hit the light pole. I'd rather spin out over hitting the light pole.
Uh, 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 oh, hey. There's an outhouse. With a cactus growing through it, because of course there is. As you do. Totally normal thing for. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, I must see inside. Go by. Just poo. Oh, right, I forgot. I can, like, totally crouch in here and actually look. That's, that's something smart people would do. Not things I do. Uh, what's in there? 100% water. We don't really need water. Moving onwards. Yay. I say oh gosh a lot, but I don't really super mean it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do. I don't want to hit a freaking rock and go flying. Uh, I actually think it is time for a save. Just in case. The truck wants to be a little unruly today, so... Uh -huh. I just wish I had F5 for quick save. That would be so nice. There might be a key binding for it. Have you looked? Uh, no. Controls. It doesn't look like there's a quick save. Okay. That was a thought. It was. And I appreciate it. I just, I figured I'd looked through the controls before and seen that there wasn't a, a quick save. Which is a shame. That's one of the things this game desperately needs it needs is quick save. Uh huh. So you're pressing less buttons to actually save. Because it has an auto save. And I'm like, I would rather have quick save over auto save, to be honest. I think both not are useful. Once has, hmm? I think both are useful. True, it's just not once has auto save really saved. Auto save has never really saved my ass. Whereas quick save absolutely has. Longer. Sun isn't quite down yet. Okay. And break on. Mission off. Sleepy time happened. Oh, 
Okay. Continue. Unweird. 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 lose control of everything ever. Oh no! Not a UFO! No! I need my car, you piece of shit. You absolute little bastard. How fucking dare you. Up a hill, no less. I can't believe you. Are you able to use the e-brake? Hmm? Were you able to at least e-brake? Oh, I was I was still coasting that entire time. Well, it's a bus. So I was still able to get up the hill. Oh, cool tight. Cool tight, cool. Cool tight, cool. Okay, I'm gonna check and see if this has any gurs. One hundred percent oil. AKA no. <laughs> it does not have any gas.
I grabbed the crack this piece that was on attacking my feet. Mm. Yeah, I had a cactus. Bye. Hey, Moose. You see no jank here? Um, your vision might be... Oh, there's plenty of jank. Speaking of which, I can't get out of the car. The frame rate's in the upper left, Moose. And I need to relog for that as well as this squishiness. Mm -hmm. Yep, I can't interact with anything. Yep. Are you are you up for doing the lobby thing? Uh, give me just a second. Okay. This alcohol is so fucking full. There it goes. Go, 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 Joining, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Gotta watch like one more second. I like how it says bus ride only. I wonder if those are the people who are doing the uh. I think I saw a bunch of somebody's uh, like on the Reddit or something maybe for this that's, that there was like a somebody wanting to do like a bus ride RP of the long drive. God help us. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of jank. Can you help with that? No, I'm not sure if it will fit. I'm gonna. Oh no, my little octopi fell off. I have to fix that. Uh, give me a second. Why is the car just rocking back and forth? Oh, the trailers. Rock just rocking back and forth. Okay. Uh, I have to get the family back up. Give me a second. No hurry. You got your little dude, right? Oh, you haven't even got your little dude. I'll get your little dude for you. Wherever he is. Uh, there's a freshener on top of the engine, I think. Okay, I'll have to find it at some point. There's a Tulian. Oh, he's being shy. A Tulian! 
Ugh. Oh, my lord, I think I lost my octopus friend to the world. Wow, he stayed with us for so long. Oh, well. <gasps> There's a two at the end. Air freshener. Okay, so we have Patricia, the Mira pants, Tom, Evil Flowers, and Julian. We have Octopus Boy one, Octopus Boy two. check can I see him no I can't see him under the car or anything yeah I think you sent I think you sent him to the upside the, down to the underworld mm -hmm. yeah oh well He lived with us for so long. We had so many good times with each other. So much laughter. He told the best jokes. He will be missed. Much like Herschel. Yes. Ah! Oh. I see. And Stacy. Sun hasn't gone down quite yet. Uh, 
Ignition V. Fell asleep. Feels like we're making good time now. Mm-hmm. For now, I keep spinning out though. That's fine. Gonna hit a cactus. Okay.
from her. You hydrated, right? An hour ago? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I already did that. Mention it. I'm just getting to your redeem. So you also did the first Ramari, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. I think I should be productive on that at end, at least. Hmm. Well, I appreciate it. Just going on an adventure. Your spin out was pretty well controlled. Mm hmm. I'm getting better at it. Okay, this place coming up here soon. see a barrel maybe uh -huh. well i can't interact with them i'm gonna see if i can <sighs> are you gonna save and reload uh i don't know ah i fixed it i had to just wait a little longer in the menu than i normally do I found one that's 57 a diesel. I'm working on it. I'm bringing it back. Very slowly. Okay. Oh, so slowly. The slowliest. The most slothliest of ever. I was gonna offer to carry it, but then that'd probably be a bad idea. It will probably end up falling through the world. Oh my goodness. I just wish it wouldn't take so long. Mm hmm. Actively aging. In the time. Doggo. To get here. Look at, that, look at that cute doggo. Oh, uh, is that like a Bichon Freeze? No. A it's, a new, 
Ahasa, yeah. Never heard of an Ahasa. What is an Ahasa? Huh? Apso. They kind of look like a Shih Tzu. Oh, huh. barrel's empty. Okay, I'm going to go check the other one now that I can actually check stuff. I may have drank a little bit of the diesel. You know what? That's acceptable. Sometimes you need a diesel sacrifice. It, uh... Oh, from the way this one, like, fucking just yeeted itself out of existence, I'm going to say that it's uh, empty. Hmm. I can't check it. So I am unsure. Oh, yeah, it's empty. Um... Then I was gonna check the car. But I can, of course. Fuel tank empty in the car. Mm hmm. Um. Nothing in the restroom. I did use the restroom though. Uh, and we'll check for bat friends. No bat friends. So it looks like the diesel was really the only thing that we got. Oh, this, that's kind of goofy. That's goofy game. Can I just sit on this thing? Oh my god, I can sit on the sled. Dice. Oh, yeah. Guys, I have a sled. I bet you do. Oh, my God. I just want to just want to ride the sled to mom's house. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't count, though. Oh, dear. What's Hi, happening? Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Becky. Well, something happened. poured out. I... So, I was sitting here, I took a glass bottle full of oil, stopped off the oil tank, more fell out to put it in. Just sitting here. Well... We still have 4.4 well, liters. Sorry. I... You know how I was having problems with getting in the car? Uh-huh. I pressed E twice. And? Got stuck in the roof. So the car... Did its car things. Hmm. With physics. So because the oil tank was still open, when the car flipped over, we lost a bunch of oil. Sorry, I didn't think the car would flip over like that. It's fine. We'll just... Replace the oil at the next place. Yeah. If I had known that the oil tank was open, I would have been a little bit more careful. But since the oil thing was on the floor, I thought you would already close the oil tank. Well, see, that oil tin thing disappeared to me, so I went to the bottles to fill up stuff. Oh, no, it was just hanging out on the ground, and I didn't see any bottles at all. So yeah, they're I all in my like, inventory. Oh. So I was like, oh, Dice is just dumb with what he's doing. Oil is dime a dozen. Yeah, I just thought like the truck was stable enough where oil spillage wasn't a concern. Uh, no, not when I'm involved. Fair enough. And I'm trying not to reload. Fair. So, 
Uh, I'm fine if you need to do that at any point. Like, I, I don't mind doing the lobby shuffle. It's just kind of annoying when someone else pops in. Yeah. That's why I'm also trying not to do the lobby shuffle. Sun, oh, there's the sun. Quit driving off the road, dang it.
Oh, that rabbit just spawned right in front of us. And he subsequently died. Anything in the car? I don't know. Fuel tank has 1.6 liters of diesel. Discord. Oh, I can't interact with anything. Well, I might have to reload. Okay, let me disconnect. Save and load. I might take this opportunity to go pee. Go pee. I have to pee. But I'll let I'll get you in first. It's still loading. Okay. Where car? Oh. Where's the front of our car? Oh, it's still there. It just looks the opposite different. in the rear end. I'm gonna kill you. Not really, but that's not the right thing. Lobbies. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay. Let me create it, and then it's on friends only, but no, it's public. I think I joined. Mm-hmm. I'm just waiting to see your... I kind of wait for a few ticks, because it seems like the MS updates on, like, ticks of every few seconds. So I kind of wait every few ticks mm -hmm. to, um... see if anybody else joined. But I'm going to go sit on this rock. I'm going to do some yoga on this rock or something. <laughs> okay.
I'll go. Thank you for the doggo side break. Blinky time. Blinky. I found a gold oh. bar and I put it on the rock for you. Oh, okay, cool. Great. Gold bar. Um, gold bar. Gold bar. I'm not sure why, but I think this time I logged in, it's relatively more stable. Hmm. I wonder why. I don't know. Uh, let me attach, and then we gotta drop. Drop the. Oh, okay, oh god, wrong. You okay? Yeah. Gold bars have to go in a very specific way into the basket. Okay, close that up. Peed. Oh no! Why is where where has everyone gone? Where has everyone gone? I see a couple on your seat in the floor. Yeah. Why is my family forsaken me again? Okay. Okay. There's somebody hiding in the engine. Like where the engine sticks out in my. Uh, part of the car uh. is what I mean. Uh, okay. okay, but we've still got the air con uh, air refresh uh, air freshener. Yes, I, I replaced it, so it should be good. That's bad. Um, hello. What are you doing? Oh, Me? there's two of them stuck together. No. Atulian's being naughty. Sounds okay, about right. So Patricia, Mira, Tom, Pants, Evil Flowers, and Atulian. Mm. No little octopus dude for you, because he's dead. Yep. Oh, did our little octopus guys on the back? Oh, we left them behind. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. I care about them less. Hmm. They're fun when we have them, but not super necessary.
Ninu underscore VT is raiding with 24 munch, viewers. Munch, 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 Welcome, munch, raiders. Munch. Okay. Hello, hey, Gordon. Gordon. Hello. How doing, everyone? Welcome, raiders. Hello, Gordon. He Hello, did. Gordon. He breaks my backpack. He's almost as good as new. Oh my goodness, all the bonks. Why Don't so many bonks? Yourself, okay? Oh. I'm not bullying. Hey Nino, how's your stress jam? Ah. Well, hey Raiders, I am Desert Ice, Dice for short. I play variety games, primarily single player story games or co-op with my partner, oh, very frequently with my partner, Sari. They are co-streaming with me right now, right over there. Um, so be sure to go check them out as well. Uh, we're both playing the long drive. Their host, I'm client, so that's why I'm getting all the janked physics. Aha, how doing, how doing, how doing? Snuck in with the Raiders. Hello, everyone. Hey, Surf. How's it going? And uh, since we are co-streaming, we also have multi-link set up. I can show you that. Uh, I'm hanging in there. Uh, Midweek, so just grinding through. Uh, looking forward to the weekend. Uh, but enjoying the long drive. It's sort of just a chill, laid-back kind of stream. Um, listen to some game music. Hopefully having some good chatters, uh, discussions. Just hanging out generally. Low-key kind of thing. Yeah, thanks for the raid, Nino. Appreciate you. You had a long stream today. Uh, uh, was it really good? How are you feeling during this stream, honey? Hello? What? I was asking how you were feeling during this stream. Uh, you know. You excited for the, the three day weekend coming up? The new Satisfactory update um, looks pretty neat. A lot of uh, improvements for exploration. We will play that for not too long. Once like the mods update, you know. Like the last save, at least. I don't know. I'd have to save again. Let me save again. Okay.
eighteen, eleven. Nice. We're almost up at forty percent. Mhm. Mm Making good progress. Yep, yep, yep. Mom will be happy to see us. Hopefully, she better be. For all this I bullshit. Mean, yeah. Considering how many days it's taken us to get her. Hopefully, it wasn't an emergency. I don't even remember the letter at this point. Was it just like, hey, I haven't seen you in five million years? Uh, I think so. Let me go check the wiki real quick. No wonder I haven't seen you, Mom. I just hit a cactus. Letter from mom says, please visit me, love mom heart. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, hopefully it's not an emergency. It had been like probably a month in game time. Yeah. Uh, where are we going? Okay, I guess we're, <laughs> guess we're stopping there. Okay. So. Looking at the wiki, apparently the letter is also a small fluid volume. And it starts out with five liters of blood. Oh, so mom sent us a letter with her blood. The, maybe her blood, maybe someone else's blood. I'm not sure I want to know the answer to that. True. True. It doesn't necessarily have to mean mom blood. Yep. But apparently you can attach a hose to it and fill it with you know, any other fluid. So you can put like hmm. diesel or gas or alcohol or water in there or more blood uh, up to five liters we, you know uh you did mom's letter like 15 days ago yeah is mom a vampire potentially we're both pretty pale so that would that would track um yeah and her being 5,000 kilometers away would also track with her being some like transylvanian country maybe Wherever the myth is, right? Hmm. Need to turn off the ignition. Okay. Let me do this. Let me get out Things of the way. We're gonna get mildly eldritch here for a second. Here, I'll just get out of the way. Oh. Okay. Oops, I dropped it. Let me hand it to you. I got or it. not. Okay. I keep forgetting I can't get in with it. I have to place it down and then get in. And it's just, there's so much. There's so much to do in this game. Yeah, well, if you have room in your inventory, you can swap away from it and have it just in your pocket oh, for the right, yellow cans. True. true. Well, it's empty now. Let me go see if I can find any more. Okay, here. I'll just stand here. Um, But I don't think there's going to be any more oil. Nope, that's gas. That's cleaning spray. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any more oil, but that was at least that at least replaced a little bit. Yeah. We still so. have a barrel oil, don't we? Oh yeah, we have tons of that. I'm just trying not to use it we have jerry cans of oil. So Is it uh closed? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh yeah, that was the first thing I do, is once I'm done filling it up, the first thing I do is uh, close it. Oh yeah, with the physics in this game, you never know. So, I mean, re-logging has, has fixed my problem. I still don't know what causes that bug. I'm not sure the dev knows what causes that bug, to be honest. So. I'm not sure either. Uh, we lost the radio and my sun visor, but oh. well, I we'll think it's somewhere in the truck somewhere, but no hurry. So that's a rock I'm heading towards. They might be underneath my seat. This um, one of them might be. I 
didn't even notice we had lost him. Well, here. Anyway, we're stopped. Yep, there's my sun visor. And there's the radio. Cool. All fixed up. Tight. Let's get going. Yep. I am just back from a long ass drive from Iowa to East Coast. I believe you mentioned Toledo as a nice five town. We managed not to get there. We managed not to get there twice, timing. But the guidebook I grabbed was lovely. Fair enough. I just remember it was like a nice small town when I stopped through uh, driving uh, probably a similar route. Um, nice hotels at least. Good prices. But hopefully you had a good trip. Uh, and saw what you wanted to see and visit who you wanted to visit and all that. Oh, boat, 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 boat. What? Boat? Boat. Nice boat. I don't know. I just see boat in the distance. I hit a cactus. I, I, I see that. Thank you, honey. Okay, well, half the time your game once again shows you me hitting a cactus that I'm not actually hitting, so... I just, I just have to point out when I'm actually hitting one so you don't accuse me of hitting a cactus I'm not actually hitting. Okay. Well, I was able to grab the piece and throw it out the door, so we're all good. Because you know you're you're not you're not driving on on road land. No, I'm driving on something else for sure. So I guess there's like cacti spawning on on your game that aren't actually on mine. Well, my game was zero flaws. Well, my game was zero flaws. But at least it's more accessible than part of Zone Boyd. But I'm. But I'm. Uh, I mean, it's not too far off the road, looks like, so I might go ahead for it. Okay. Well, I should be able to get some more diesel there at minimum, right? Uh, not necessarily. We're pretty lucky, generally, though. Yeah, we're generally pretty lucky, but I think there was a spate of, like, two... Uh, like, two ships where, like, we got no diesel at all. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm just very slowly cruising my way towards it. We're not even... Um, am I white, bunny? Uh, we're not even got the engine on or anything. Mm -hmm. So we're still apparently almost a hundred kilometers per hour, though. So this game messes with my sense of distance. Yeah, I can imagine. Start breaking. Iron Man Des Moines, his 18th, turns out Iowa is the top spot for place I would consider moving to. Interesting. Uh, inch off. Okay. I'll check right. Okay, I'll go left. Yes. Yep, walk. Well, oil. Diesel. 
Yay. Mm, excuse me. I struck and miss all my barrels. I'll uh, double check left. We haven't finished checking left. I might grab one of these oils ones and uh, see about. No, we really don't need any more like big barrels. It's, you can't really fill up the car with them, anyways. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like that is the only one, that one diesel. Mm. You want me on the top of the truck or the bottom? Um, give me a second. Uh, it, how bad is the car? How bad pretty, are the Jimmy's rustled? That's pretty good for me right now. All right, then if you don't mind filling up. Done. Okay. Gonna... Thanks for the fart reverb, Anonymous. Thank you for the biddies. Surprise me. Close enough. Ready? Yep, let's rock and roll. I'd say that's still a fruitful adventure. If nothing else, that helped fill us up the tank, which admittedly we could, I could have just filled up the tank without having you do the, the roof bit. I don't care. It's all good. But, and I did close the tank, right? I did. Yep. We're going to spin out while I'm checking the tank because I'm having so many <laughs> swing my camera around. But I thought I saw another, oh, there is another boat way out in the distance. Okay. okay. And also what? Oh, uh, check the... Ask me. To check it because I have free cam and not driving. True. So I think that other boat might be close enough to the road that will be fine. Oakley dokley. Oakley dokley. Uh, almost time to go to sleep. Not quite yet. But I cannot see boat. Actually, I, I mean, I can't see the boat at nighttime. It's, it's pretty freaking obvious. I think I kind of see it. gonna i was like waiting to see that if i took the break off that we were gonna you know eventually stop and the game was like no fuck you mm. so yeah there's the boat head for it. Admittedly, you might have the brightness higher than me. Uh, yes, I have the brightness a bit higher than you do. Yeah. Get out of my way, bunny! Bonk. Oh, I just barely dodged it. Not on my screen. Well, on my screen, there was no bunny murder happening. On my screen, the bunny went into a blender. Hmm. UFO? Yep, UFO. On the road? Mm-hmm. 
Not a big deal. I wouldn't have the engines running anyways. It's weird with BB client. I don't see the UFOs really. Oh, huh. Weird. This may not be synced at all with that. Mm-hmm. I hit a cactus. Apparently I could have kept following the road. It is apparently a road boat. Road boat. Road boat. There's a car or a bus on the left there. Mm hmm. A bus. So I'm just gonna kind of like pull in between them and. Check the boost. Okay. Well, I'll start checking the boat. Okay. Wait. Uh, drop it. Uh. Okay, that might be worth. But I guess I'll see if there's like any oil in here. Oh no, music box. Also, is there anything in the tank? Bus's tank. Fuel tank empty. Of course it is. I'm not gonna really check up. Gimme. Okay. Found already one drum of 25 liters of diesel. Okay. Hmm. Tight. E. What was that sound? Uh, me trying to get in the truck. Uh. And failing. Uh huh. I gotta go grab uh, Barry again. Barry did a good job last time. I'll do. I'll use Barry again. Barry. Barry. Barry, come here. Don't fuck this up for me, Barry. 31 liters in this barrel. Don't fuck this up for me, Barry. Don't fuck this up for me, Barry. Barry the non snake. I mean, I fucked up a little bit, but Barry, Barry did not fuck up. Barry did a great job. There was some oil in that, in uh, the bus engine, so. Barry helped me to victory. Oh, uh, yeah. A little bit more oil. So Barry gets to take a good nap. Good snick nap. Good snick nap. I'm gonna uh, work on filling up the oil a little bit. Okie dokie. Also, I guess we should check. Uh, here. What's in this one? Gas. Uh, who gives a crap? We don't need gas here. This isn't gas country. Or diesel gas 
free household. Yeah, diesel all the way. Okay. Oh, this is a big barrel. 44.9 liters. Ooh, nice. Some diesel. There's actually quite a bit here. Okay, I'm just filling up our oil first. Yep, yep. a little bit of oil because I accidentally clicked my auto clicker. Womp womp. It was only like one liter if that, so it wasn't Oh well, that big. I'm not crying over that. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Just a little like bummer, you know. Mm -hmm. uh... <sighs> Once you're done with the oil, can you pull the truck up here? Yep. Trying to get this oil back in the thing, but I should just do it this way. Oh my god. Oh, this is water anyway, so oh fuck it. I don't give a shit. I'll just Oh my god. I'm having a I'm having a I'm having some trouble. Give me a second. This oil is misbehaving. There we go, oh. I think I managed to get it. Okay. I am coming. I have to close your door. Um, That's fine. Also, if you want to... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want to say something? Yeah. 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 We've got over a thousand liters of diesel now. Hell to the yeah. Probably want to save with that. Yep. Save. 1826 kilometers. Oh no. This is very hard. Ah! I don't think I actually hit that rock. I mean, now I hit it, but this car doesn't have the greatest turning radius in the world. Oh, no, apparently... especially with that trailer. Mm -hmm. There's apparently a dead bunny, by the way. Mm, lovely. Okay. Back on the road again. Yes. A whole bunch more Sweet. diesel because the uh, tank for the engine I topped off before I handed it to you. Yeah, I noticed you doing that. Yes, we've got... <sighs> A lot of stuff. Hell yeah. Engine off. And just coast. As long as I drive smart. Because we have been wait. slowly but su uh, successfully been filling up our main tank of diesel. Mm-hmm. I wonder if we'll get to the point where we're we warranted to have a tank trailer for even more diesel, or you just want to call it once this like, gets pretty full. This thing can hold three 
thousand liters. I don't think we're gonna need like a tank trailer. Okay. Um, I think three thousand liters is gonna get us pretty far. Hmm. And like we can always like once we get beneath like you know a thousand, be on the hunt for more barrels or whatever. And just mm -hmm. Keep it in mind as we go. Oh yeah. Like, I'm deaf not. Worried about, um. Okay. We are losing a little bit of speed, so I'll speed us back up. Um. Yeah, I'm definitely not worried about running out of gas anytime soon. The game, even if we didn't have the, the trailer. I still mm -hmm. think we wouldn't really ever have to worry about gas. So. The only other trailer that might be warranted to be oil, but I think the jerry cans are plenty for a long time. Oh yeah, the jerry cans are almost completely filled up and we keep running into like the little tiny oil cans mm -hmm. um, that have been keeping us topped up. Oh, yeah. Same with water. Like, we haven't needed water in a long, long time. Yeah. And, like, technically, we don't even need the trailer on the end. I think it just makes things look nicer. Oh, for the item storage? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We we could have things attached to the side of the, of the fluid tank, but this is much cleaner. I agree. So... Well, plus it allows me to have more gold bars in one basket. So I was able to co consolidate the baskets down like super far. Mm -hmm. um, which I think is the less baskets we have, the less load we have. So the fewer like baskets of gold we need, the better. Instead mm -hmm. of only being able to have like two two gold bars a basket, I can now have four gold bars a basket. Hmm. So. Ooh, I just barely dodged that. You know. I'm just trying to be efficient. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna like stop collecting gold bars. I know. I am at some point gonna have to get another basket. Okay. We have no free baskets right now. Oh my god, why are you driving me towards a rock game? Oh well, I guess it's spin out time. Sure. Sure, tight. Take cool. All right. That was a pretty good control there. Learn from the best. What do you mean, Opalish? Also, hello. Hello, How Opalish. How are you doing today? I'm guessing they're meaning like the gold bar collecting and counting from Josh. Oh, from from Joshua. 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 Pavu. Um, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I, I think uh, I think I could teach him a few things about gold bar storage, however, so he you know wouldn't have to count them uh, so much. But I th think he does that intentionally just to stretch out the gameplay to absurd oh, levels. Oh, he does. Oh, absolutely. I'm I'm just making a joke. I'm pretty sure he if he really wanted to get down to brass tacks, he would use baskets and shit. But he doesn't That's want to, so. I have an oil can, I don't know if I'm trying to top off the oil a bit. Uh, oil in the car should be pretty full. Okay, uh... I filled it up to 10. What, what's it it's at It's down now? to 9.9. .9. Oh, oh. Okay. Wasn't really anything else in there. Uh, so once you're done with that, we'll take a nap and then... Done. Okay, nap... Oh wait, I can't sleep yet. What if I just hold the button? Oh right, because the video... Uh... The game won't let you sleep if the if it's the third so, person view. Yeah, very.
Uh, okay. Here we go. But yes, the whole point of me collecting the gold bars is like we started the game and I was like, I don't want to collect any of the gold bars. So then I was like, I'm not trying to be Josh, but then it was just, I wanted to be a millionaire so that I could go to mom's house and be a millionaire. Mm -hmm. And now it's just turned into uh, the delight of finding the gold bars and the pooper every time. So, Golden yeah. shits. Golden shits. Golden turds. So that's what it that's what it has turned into is just I delight in finding them wherever I can. I think we're um I think we're we're already a millionaire. I think that's what she mentioned. Millionaire has already happened. What Based on LME spot prices, yes. Yeah. But what if I can get up to billionaire by the time we get to mom's house? Definitely possible. Um, I think the trailer would be really heavy by then, but definitely possible. Mm -hmm. um, not sure you want to do that, but who am I to judge? I think trillionaire is a little bit out of reach. Um, trillionaire would be asking a lot, yes. Um, but I might be able to make billionaire. And then I'll just pay for a flight home. <laughs> um, yeah, you could probably charter a flight with that kind of money. Yeah, I mean, there's there's airplanes. We've seen them. Mm -hmm. I have laid my eyeballs upon them with the binoculars, but apparently to go see mom, I hit a cactus. Uh, to go see mom, uh, we have to drive. Billionaire? Uh, I mean, it's definitely possible there is that much gold in the world for it. Um, whether or not we could fit it in the back of this one trailer, I think is arguable. Did you forget yeah. you had already responded to that? Maybe. I just read chat, sorry. My brain's not... 100% right now. Anywho, um, yeah, chartering a flight would be good. Um, if you get a billionaire, you can buy your own flight or one plane. Mm hmm. Do you like I'm a golf stream or, or like a Concorde or what? I think we're gonna get a big one so I can take my fucking car with me. Oh, like a B-52 then, right? Just chug everything mm -hmm. in the back? Yeah. Fair I'm not enough. driving this car all the way, you know, 5,000 kilometers to mom's house to fucking leave it. Hell no. I'm either going to ship that bitch back on a train or something, or it's going in a plane with me. I think the most cost-effective thing would be paying someone to drive it for you, but I'm not sure. I don't trust anybody with my car except me and like you. I don't fit your car. Gonna, I'm not gonna make you drive it back. Yeah. You fit in this one. True. I'm not talking about my real life car. There. So maybe oh, you just no, need to gonna find gonna a phone to make arrangements. I, you know, Surf, I haven't seen a phone in this universe yet. I think the only forms of communication are TV, radio, and mail. Doggo. Um, yeah, there is no like telephone communication whatsoever or like telegraph. There's clearly something though, because what's the with the uh, poles that are on Hello, these Gordon. very clear communication poles it's fine my brain is empty did outdoors outdoors internship stuff so i had i was physically tired go home and start to relax and then had to go to emergency vet she's fine in the cone of shame 
but because it was minor we had to wait for several hours understandable i'm, I'm sure that was a trying day in, in its entirety and i'm glad uh your pet is well uh i'm sure it was really stressful not to rush to the vet like that I don't think there's anything here for us. Uh, no bats? Uh, maybe. I haven't seen any, but there's so much junk in here. I'm only taking like a cursory junk look. What's that? Oh, I think that's just a fucked up engine. Ah! What? I don't know, something went, made a lot of noise. Might have been the fridge I threw through the wall. Yeah, it might have been that. Yeah, I don't see any bats or octopus boys. Yeah, I'm gonna check the roof. A lot of compasses though. Mm-hmm, I don't need any compasses though. See, like, there's very clearly some sort of communication device or... Well, this is radio is what I was talking about. Like, there's no telephone. Yeah, this is the second time it's happened. Oh, fuck Mainfield. They can kiss my cat's ass and getting her as a patient anymore because they could have prevented it. Yeah. yeah definitely. Definitely justified to be uh, upset if they, it's a preventable like, hardship. I'm on. Probably missed some of the context, but. Uh, yeah, it's, it sounds shitty overall, though. We're going on an adventure. Adventure? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Crouch. Huh. That that last building spawn was really weird. There's a lot of tiny junk. Um And there was nothing useful in there really. It was weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't get the context because a bit TMI involves their anal glands. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, that's a problem on kitties. Yeah. Some doggos, too. Mm -hmm. uh, it wouldn't have bothered me individually because I grew up with way too many pets. Um, so I've seen everything, I think, at this point. But. Yeah. Hand glands are. Uh, uh, Unfortunately, a semi-regular problem with pets, like them getting clogged and blocked. Well, regardless, glad that your pet's okay and everything worked out. You know how many gold bars you've collected so far? Seventeen. Okay. It's a Dura. Hey Dura. Oh, That's weird. My streamer bot isn't working apparently. It may have crashed again. Nope, it's still up. And uh, maybe. Hello, Dura. Well, I already I disconnected help. it as well. I can do the shout out, don't worry. Or they didn't offer primary care, but now they do, so it ended up working out. Yeah. Mm, let me see if I can figure this 
out really fast. Give me a second. No problem. I need to use the restroom, so I'll BRB, folks. technical nightmare yeah i heard you having some problems with it before also sorry i'm busy staring at uh think about oh 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 streamer bot just crashed okay <laughs> was dropping frames every few minutes oh no that sucks let me disconnect from twitch and connect to twitch it's all right though yeah stuff happens as long as you had fun that's the most important thing Okay, there, there we go. I have apparently fixed, fixed my streamer bot for right now. Uh, me. Nope, <laughs> it's broken again. Oh boy. It's just not. It's just doing that. I don't mean to pile into a bit of uh, business, but Opalish, I had big issues with them as well. Yep, last summer they didn't have primary care, but now they do, so I didn't bring it out. Yeah, first time Banfield didn't help us find an emergency to see her that day. Had to find one on our own, and then they scheduled the expressions too far apart, so definitely would avo avoid them if you're looking for a vet. I've never actually heard of that place, so... Um, I'm, I'm fine, baby. Don't... Don't worry. Um, I think I just needed to shut it all the way down and start it back up again. Seems like the regions are just kind of, it's going to be hard to stream for a while, it feels. Would doing something like a, um, oh, what do you call it? A, um, like a, like verifying the uh, file integrity work or something? Okay, so if I if I click off and then I click onto my own stream and I test the TTS. Okay, I think I think I've got it working again. Sure. They bought the local vet we were using. They're like a chain very corporate, huh? So you make oh, vet now. Great. Ah. The game was we can find it was the connection to Twitch. Um. I mean, yeah, that might be shitty internet, or, I mean, maybe you just need to like rerun the, the. Dice might be able to find it for me. It's the wizard. The Twitch inspector. No, not the Twitch inspector. The wizard in OBS. Oh yeah, if you want to reset up your con your auth with Twitch or whatever streamer service you're working with. No, it's um well, I don't feel like I'm doxing myself by naming them. Yeah, that makes sense cuz if they're a chain, they're widespread that Ah, really doesn't reduce anything. Hey Billy. Um uh, the auto configuration wizard. Hi beard. Hello, beard. Where's this clip gonna be? I'm scared. Radiation from beardation. I like that. I don't know what this clip is. I'm scared. Like nothing. Okay, nothing happened, and that's why I'm scared. 
I was expecting something to happen. Yeah, so I changed my clippy so that it picks something random from the entirety of people's clips. So if you have old clips that you don't want, ta you better go through them and delete them all. <laughs> I was patronized while my dog was fall failing, tried for some of the coverage to try and help her, got charged for the entire year, even though she died two days after the renewal. Wow, that's kind of heartless. That is. It's not surprising, just disappointing. And saddening, really. And my condolences for losing your pet. Uh, never fun. Um, yeah, that sucks. Like, not only do you have that pain, but you also have the pain of the bill on top. Like, oof. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's what I call an oof. Yep, yep, yep. You were playing Mad Bulls, right, Beard? And I think you were... Were you also playing the Eternal Edge as well? I know you said you were going to check out some new games today. How were they? I have never heard of these games. What kind of games are they? Ah, ah. Basically a demo zero replayability. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, I think I see a bus in the in the background here, or a house. Oh, it's a house. I'll I'll speaking about time to get my kid in the first dose of her meds. Brb. No problem, Opalish. Yeah, no I'm problem. Glad. Yeah, it's. That was why I had those timers at the bot just as a general reminder for everyone to like keep on top of their self care. Ah, Me the included. Bus. Eternal Edge Plus, though, is awesome, like a Breath of the Wild clone, and it's fun. Oh, I might have to check that out. I love Breath of the Wild clones. You went into cancel. Hmm? Go ahead. No. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I went into cancel. They handed me a card with the company that did cancellations. Didn't ask why. That was the biggest BS part. Yeah, I, I'm guess they just probably, like, uh, contract out some of the logistics stuff like that. Save costs and... What not? Where's the gas? I mean, veal? It's 100% water. In the fuel tank? Mm hmm. That's a bunch of bullshit. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. F you. I don't want your alcohol. You can Sonic that car there. Yeah, but we aren't trying to see an ick. We've actually got something pretty good going on. Um, so right now we've got uh, the truck. Uh, our radiator right now doesn't lose any water. It's pretty good. Um, then we've got a bus engine in there um so bus engine and then we have a whole tanker full of diesel and we're currently sitting at 1019.4 out of 3000 diesel so i think i think we're doing pretty good oh i should probably check this stuff shouldn't i barrels uh, a little bit of everything yeah, there's oil, there's gas, there's water. Didn't ask why I was canceling bad service, loss of pet, and moving. Yeah, you think like like a basic like customer service interaction would like like implore that so like you can hopefully be a better representative. What do I know? Like I haven't done customer service in, in ages, but I would assume that'd be like basic etiquette. I don't know. Also, yes, Beard, we are playing this game normally. We're just trying to get to Mom's house. Yay. So I'm doing fun stuff. Like, there's no normally in this game. I mean, I am as normal as possible in this game. We are some of the most boring-ass bitches in this game ever. 
but I also have a feeling that, like, Dice and I have already gotten further than most anybody else has w who has watched somebody play the long drive. So... Uh, that's... That's sort of my intention. Is, uh, actually get to Mom's house. So... See what it's about? Yep. Uh, there's a boat, but I'm not sure. I think the road goes to the boat. So. I do, and yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Anything I can do? Yeah, I, I think that would be like the my bare minimum basic response to that kind of situation. Just offer assistance, try and be empathetic, you know, without like, I don't know, over committing or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But like, just. Basic interaction, like just trying to connect on something, you know? That's just weird. What do I know? Oh, you looked up the ending, Liquid? I have not looked up the ending. I don't know anything about this game other than things people have told me and what I have experienced on my own. Um, and what I've learned from playing it. Side. Oakley, Oakley, Artichoke. But that, I mean, apparently we're gonna fucking Tokyo drift. Hell yeah. Style points. Um, which is pretty normal for any of my other interactions with the game. Yeah, I mean, this game is very much made out of confusion. Like, why are all the gold bars found in the toilet? Yeah. Lots of oil. No diesel yet. Oh, found some diesel. Okay. So I also found some diesel that I drank a bit of. Oh. You know, you, you, I'm starting to think you're secretly a robot. You keep drinking the diesel. I might be a robot, but I'd be drinking the oil if I was truly a robot. Not necessarily. What if you're, what if you're a diesel requiring robot? Hmm, fair enough. Time to fill up the tank. Okay. It's worth it to fill up. Yay! Here. Okay, I got it. Okay. I'll continue scanning for more diesel barrels. Okay. Tight. Heck yeah. Aquaman. Oh, here's one right here. I forgot that you could just press like the control and just stand up from a crouching position. Should let me make sure. One hundred percent diesel. Mm -hmm. God damn, this barrel's heavy. But I mean, yeah, Dice and I definitely play this game pretty straightforwardly. Um. I haven't been collecting blood, you know, or anything. I actually pretty much stopped collecting stuff because except of the fact that bars. it was... Yeah, except for gold bars. But I mean, like, it was fucking with Dice's game so badly that we had to quit collecting stuff. 
so I really pared down all my all my stuff. I still am collecting bats and gold bars. But the bats don't seem to be doing that, having that much of an impact on your game. No. I don't think so, at least. So. No tanker full of blood. No tanker full of blood. Um, I mean, considering mom's letter apparently had some blood in it, I, we, we might need to get a tanker full of blood. But I think, I think mom needs some blood. But we actually don't find a whole lot of blood in this game, to be honest. At least for us, we haven't found very much blood in this game yet. Yeah. Um... Did you take the barrel I put outside and fill up the main tank with it? Yep. Every barrel that's been outside so far is... Okay, you checked everything on the left, right? Yep. Okay, then I think we're good to go. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, gotta make sure I have everyone. Patricia and Mira and Tom and Pants and Evil Flowers and Atulian. Actually, it's alright if I relog. Yes, everybody apparently just... Patricia just fucking died, apparently. Patricia! Patricia! I did everybody fall off. Oh, I think it was when you relogged. Oh, I disconnect. Right. I need to reconnect now. Yeah, I think that's... Everybody fell off because you did that, which is fine. I'm not blaming you. It's just very weird. Okay, Patricia. And Mira. And Tom. And we're missing somebody. mirror out there okay uh, let me stand a slight bit away from the thing uh, let me make sure to save we have to save because people are mean um, and occasionally come into games that aren't meant for them are you ready yeah open I'm not feeling too great that's why I ended stream early tonight gonna head to get bed good night all have a good night. Night, Beard. Thanks for dropping in. Hope you sleep better. Sleep well and feel better. Bleh. Yeah. My brain combined words there. Feel better. I'm sorry that you didn't feel good. I know how that feels. I still hope you had fun in your game. Do not name a bat after you. Oh, no, that's fine. I haven't been... I've only been naming people after bats, really, if they've asked for me to name them after bats. So if you do not want a na bat named after you, you absolutely do not have to have one named after you. Okay, I think we're good. Ah, uh, delicious frames are back. Yeah, yeah, no worries, liquid. Uh, can you stop for just a second? Yep. Uh, uh, can you reattach your sun visor? My hand. There you go. Okay. Sorry. You read a book when you were a kid? Was it the one about the vampire bat thing? Was it Batman? No. I mean, it could have been Batman. And that will definitely instill some fear of bats in you. No, there's a very specific one I'm thinking of. Hmm. Although, I mean, if you read something like, like a, like a, like a mint more for adult books about a tiger that got wounded and vampire bats came and drank its blood and it got rabies and died. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that would traumatize me as a child. Absolutely. That, I would say that escalated quickly, but it went the other direction. Went downhill really quickly. Either way, it changed direction very quickly. No, it was for kids. It was my dad's book from when he was a kid because the 50s were a messed up time. <laughs> That's fucked up to have a children's book about that. Yeah. And that apparently fucked up two generations at least. Yeah, wow, what the Jesus. What the fuck? I'm 
Like, there, I remember there being a, a book about a vampire bat, like, for, like, kids, but it wasn't that fucked up when I was a kid. I actually don't even remember the name of it anymore, and I kind of want to look it up. This is just driving me crazy that I can't think of it. Yeah, this is overall bizarre. Yeah, like, why would you write a children's book about vampire bats? giving a tiger rabies and it dying. And then it didn't help that I grew up in an old ass house and there were bats in the attic. And occasionally I would wake up to the sounds of wings flapping around in my room. Okay, that, yeah, that would legitimately, I'd be like, uh-uh, no fam. I would not be interested. I would have to say no, 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 no to that. No, 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 Like the Shia LaBeouf no, no, no song. Thanks, stream stickers. I appreciate it. Got to avoid rock. The fat rat. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oh. At least they made sure there were no mosquitoes in the house. I mean, Depends on the type of bat, but probably. Yeah. I think some bats do are omnivorous and will eat blind insects. Mosquitoes just should not exist. This is true. They just That's made funny. the dog freak out. Let's assume. Go ahead. I read an article a while ago. Uh, like four years ago uh, about a study that ecologists did about what would happen if scientists genetically modified mosquitoes to go extinct effectively mm -hmm. and it's like there would be effectively no downside to the overall ecosystem oh yeah and it's like and yeah we should start doing that and i think they're running they're running an experiment on one breed of Excuse to see how viable it was. Like they gene genetically modified some females to where, uh, once they uh, got fertilized and laid eggs, the next generation of females thereafter would were uh, sterile. Mm. So it'd be only one be one only one more generation. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the result was, but that was the plan when I read it. Um, mm. Fascinating That's ideas, like plan. yeah. Um, ah! Hi, Mira. How doing? I think I pulled a muscle. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a nap. Okay. I'm gonna you... take a nap. Take your sleepies. I agree with Blush in general, but they also cause a lot of suffering both for humans and animals. And there's uh, the argument I read in the article is that there's enough extraneous food sources in the food web that it wouldn't be impactful. And uh, there was enough other predators of those insects that their populations would be under control. Like net net, it would not actually affect the overall food web. According to the study, who knows what the actual end result would be. And I, I, this was years ago. I don't know what happened of it, but uh, it was, I, I thought it was an interesting thought experiment, if nothing else. Well, I found an octopus. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, can I stand up? I can. Without mosquitoes filling that niche, other insects would prol proliferate. Yeah. Do you want, do you want, do you want an octopus? Or, you want me to put it in? 
for you. Okay, and also a liquid. I found I found a little Minecraft person for you instead. So here you go. That one will always be liquid. You d you just can't really know how nature will react, true. true. You can't. Like. But I think that's oh, why oh. if you if you only did it with like one strain and did yeah. a test with only one strain, like you're still gonna have eight billion other types of mosquitoes. Doggo. Wattweiler. Wattweiler. Yeah. Thanks, what stream stickers. That? Thanks for the message. Um, yeah, it was overall a study of a theoretical um, application of on like one species, so who knows? Okay, I didn't find anything else. Just gonna push all this shit out of my way. I like Minecraft form more than bats. See, there you go. Also, Minecraft I need to inform dope. you all of this decision that I found. There's a sled. There's a sled, and I can be on the sled. Karate. You, you can just slide your way to mom's house. I had a Rottweiler when I was a kid. He was angry. Called he was named Angus, and he bit my ass, literally. End of story. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I kind of want a run. To, well, I don't know if it would count, but I actually kind of want to sled all the way in a game. And, and you're, like, an, uh, you're on run of uh, long drive to sled the whole way to mom's house. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would count, though. But why would it let you have the sled if you're not allowed to use it? You don't really like Minecraft either, too blocky. Well, it, but if I can find something else. So there's... Let's see, there's... Minecraft, bats, an octopus, a piece of poo, and like a car tag, like a little coin. So if we find something else, we'll replace it with something else. Hopefully. No ducks. Most of the food chain sends go, oh, shall we introduce this one species to control this invasive? Now we have two invasive species. Yeah, yeah. That's also why I think the, the topic of the study was using a genetic modification to have like a terminal end so it wouldn't spread and proliferate or you wouldn't have like an invasive species invasion uh it would just be like ending off one species or subspecies again i don't dig it up it was ages ago we'll find you something liquid by the way we just gotta get some place where you can, where we can get a different one out of it. Oh, hey, look, we're in the grasslands. Oh no, that's a thingy. Uh, okay, I got it, 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 I got it. I got it. I believe the test of the GMO mosquitoes work, but no government has been willing to be those guys that released hordes of mutant, mos mutant mosquitoes. Rumor has it my dog's dad was a Roddy, ended up with a chunky beagle mix. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I grew up, we had a Rottweiler, a Doberman, um, a Yorkshire Terrier, Jack Russell Terrier, Pitbull, and then we went into Greater Swiss Mountain Dogs, and we had a lot of those um, Swissies. We ended up with like, by the time I moved out, six or eight of them. Think I count it. We only had terriers for pets, at least for dogs. Terriers are good. I had a yeah. uh, rat terrier mixed with a Boston terrier as a pet. Silky terrier and Welsh terriers. Ooh, that sounds good. Welsh terriers are amazing. Dog. They're really good, like, pets. Uh, Sadie was not that good of a pet, but that's because the rat terrier uh, 
gave her anxiety. Hmm. Rat terriers are very like hyperactive dogs. So like Jack so. Russell's then. Yeah, they're a lot like Jack Jack Russell's. So she was dumb as dumb as a stump, but the sweetest dog you'll ever meet. Well, she's are good dogs. Yeah, I've, I've heard that. My family hasn't really had um, much, ex much like widening of dog species. I know I am pretty sure it's been done on a small scale, scale like reduce the population for a season. So there, then there is no way to pass on the infertility gene. Yeah. Sounds like you had a wonderful time. Not quite at all, but I had a lot. Um, my mother, uh, the house she's currently in, uh, is licensed as a kennel because she likes dogs a lot. Um, I've been to dog shows. Uh, uh, I knew more about dog health and breeds and stuff like that than I think anyone in my age bracket did anywhere near me. Um, and my first trip to New York was to Westminster. So I got to show my dog there and got second in the nation for that year. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Hello, Kay. How are you doing? Hello. Hey, Kay. How doing? Hello. Oh, is there going to be a bus spawn? Bus? Bus? A boost. Bus? Bus! Bus. I see a boost. I hate how everything spawns like a few inches above ground. M headache? Oh, no. I know that feeling. I'm sorry. Huh. Yeah. Headache's no boy now. Oh, it's a very rusty boost. Uh, you check the engine, I'll check the gas tank. Gas tank is mixed, so it won't be useful to us. Thank you for the anonymous oh, fart. Yeah. I heard that you... that that worked out well. Uh, okay, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, it's oh, always congrats. A it's always a, a good situation when... It's always gonna. It's always a good time when the situation turns out well, especially when you're having to come out to your parents. Uh, radiator so. and uh, engine tanks were both empty. Yep. So nothing here for us really besides a lot of rust. Yep. I'm already in the car. It's always worth a, a test to see. Oh yeah. Um, so I am genuinely glad that it, it worked out. I wasn't really worried about it because I know my parents, but it was still stressful. Yeah, I get that. I told, I 100% get that. Um, I didn't actually get it, but I'm still super happy that things worked out for you. Yeah. I just get to live vicariously through other people. <laughs> I've technically come out to my parents and uh, they've ignored it, so. Holy cow, that all sounds interesting. My grandmother bred Danes and did work around Shepherd Vietnam war dogs. Woo! That does sound like fun. Uh, probably the most fun I had with it all was. Um, Part of what Swissies do, or their what their breed was for, was to be the sort of the poor man's horse in Switzerland. So they're bred to be weight pullers. And so there's actually competitions to pull weight for your dog to see how you know how much weight they can do at, at a standard like I think 10 yards or something. And the first try we did, we got to I think a little over uh, a, like a ton and 100 pounds on their first weight pull just without any training just we just did it out of a uh, really as a, as a flippantly just trying to try it out like, as a fluke you know it's just like i wonder you know how much you can pull and yeah enough to tow my car at the time just 
really just like just astounding at the time. Um, but yeah, that was this is surreal. Basically, ignored they came out. My parents be like that. Ooh, yeah. Love and support each other. God damn it. Yeah, like. Coming out doesn't change who they are. They're just more honest with themselves, right? Or maybe I'm misphrasing that. You there, honey? Mm hmm. I'm just okay. waiting for you. Um. Uh, just coming out in general, like. It shouldn't change how you feel about your kids. People have kids for all sorts of reasons, not all of them good. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's one of the reasons I decided I was never going to have children. Um, I, I don't have, partially because of the reason that I, well, what I believe is uh, partially because of the reason that I'm agender. Like, I really don't have a maternal instinct. I mean, I've, I've been around a lot of like cis women who are just like oh i can't hear a baby crying like it upsets me like i immediately want to like go comfort the baby and all this stuff and like they they feel very strongly about wanting to have children and i'm just like if i hear a baby crying i'm just like no like i i get upset for for, for completely different reasons um like, I have absolutely no maternal instinct or maternal desire. Um, I can't, I can barely take care of myself uh, most of the time. Like, I'm not gonna be able to take care of another human, like a small human being. Hell no. You know, and then. And then Dice and I both have like genetic and like physical problems that could be passed down to kids, and that's just not something I I want to pass down. Yeah. Like I like Dice and I both have depression, and it's like it's it's pretty much a one hundred percent guarantee that any kid that we produced together would have had depression. Which I mean, we can't even reproduce. I don't have a uterus, but um, I I did have that thing. Uh, scooped out of my body um in pieces so you know it's just i i had no desire to reproduce at all ah, i almost hit a pole i was talking too much um like i have a whole host of genetic problems as well and my parents had me because well my mother a was running out of time to even have a kid so she did it because she it was either do it then or never um, and my dad just went along with the ride at the time there. I don't think he really thought it through well enough. And so they were never prepared to actually raise a kid. And so I had to raise a lot of myself along the years. And long story short, I don't want to put another human being through what I went through. And one of my genetic problems has a 50 50 shot being passed on. And that's just Damn. too high of odds for someone to suffer through. Uh, um, it's just, it's it's selfish and cruel and for someone like me to do that to another person yep well we don't uh, have to worry about it so yay yay plus it's also very carbon efficient so that's that's a plus you know no kids are the biggest carbon footprint a, a human can have we're being environmentally responsible plus i can barely feed myself <laughs> most days i can uh, do the basics to get by and that's about it i'm by no means extra handy or anything like that there might be a gold bar in this toilet i see one i think gold bar I didn't even turn the car off. I'm so excited. I. Okay. Either it's a gold bar or an oil can. I can't tell. It's the yellow rectangle. Well, there was a lady. No gold bars. I was denied. Mm. It was a lady. Did they get a chucky bar? In the toilet? No. 
Not out of the toilet. Yeah, it's not chocolate. I said I didn't get out of the toilet. <laughs> Yeah, kids are not for us, um, and that's okay. Fur babies will be. But that's the only babies Dice and I are going to have is fur babies. Yeah. And then I'm going to post 8 billion pics of my fur babies. And y'all are just going to have to deal. But yeah, no, it, um, my wife took a class called psychopathology of childhood in college basically killed any desire to have kids. I didn't quite take that exact same class, but I took a class much like that. Yeah. I, I actually have a degree in psychology. It's, it's an associate's degree. It's not like a big fancy degree. Um, but I, I actually... My day, my day, my degree in psychology did uh, definitely, I think, kill a lot of desire to have children. There's a joke that actually, no, it didn't. Um, I knew I didn't want to have kids when I was like 16 years old. Um, but my parents tell this story when I was young. Um, apparently, I did have a dream when I was a small child that uh, I wanted to have eight children and I w they all slept on the stairs under blankets of jello. Okay. I, I mean, I was, a, I was a kid. I was like, I'm, I was like five. Um, mm. But Basically, it's, you know how you're fucking weird? It's your parents' fault, the class. Yeah. Pretty much. Yep. Um. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm not going to place the blame solely on parents all of the time. I am for me. Because, like, nature versus nurture is a thing, but I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say all of my weirdness is, is my parents' fault. A lot of it is also just society in general's fault uh, because of the society we live in. We live in a society, um, but definitely... Definitely, I do tell stories from when I was a child. And I'm like, haha, what a funny story. And then people are like, are you okay? Uh, so, you know. If class is really focused on problems that are rising adulthood from issues in childhood, mostly caused by parents. I mean, as long as they didn't involve Freud. Sounds like a good glass. Uh, cause Freud was full of bullshit. Also a little weird and he was hopped up on morphine. Uh, cocaine. That too. That, yeah. It, a lot of it was the coke. A lot of it was he was a massive coke fiend. Um, but that's also, they thought it was good for pain. And it was good on pain. You don't really feel a whole lot when you're probably hopped up on coke. I wouldn't know. I've never done coke. Me neither. But I would imagine... Hello? Uh, I would imagine you probably don't... You probably feel pretty good when you're on coke. Otherwise, I've, why would you do coke if you don't feel good doing it? I've been told you feel like Superman or like a super being kind of thing. Hmm. Both of you and your wife have psych degrees? Ah, uh, hell yeah! Psych degree friends! Um, uh, gas. I didn't find a basket. I see that. It's black. Mm hmm. So 
I wanted it. I'm just gonna stick it to the side for right now. Okay. I have a double major in English lit to go with it. I have. I have an associate's degree in uh, psychology, and then I have an associate's degree for information technology. So, and they're both useless. Uh, nobody teaches Freud outside of history of psychology classes. True. Back when I was doing, back when I was taking college classes, uh, they were they were teaching him, but not in like a sense of like. Here's somebody you should emulate and actually pay attention to his teachings. It was more like this guy's an absolute coke fiend. Um, and a minor in philosophy because I really wanted like 90k in student debt. Fucking oof. I'm sorry, Liquid. That sounds rough. Yeah. Student debt is stupid and should be canceled. Like, fucking fight me. I, I seriously doubt anybody in this chat's gonna fight me about, about <laughs> canceling student debt. Also, Dora, stop falling down the stairs, please. Why are you falling down the stairs? Are they only like three stairs or are you falling down the whole flight? Like of like 18 stairs. How much is a flight of stairs? I don't know. Um, I don't know either. A lot though. Either. Oh my god, drive straight. It's impossible. I'm gay. Move, yeah. bitch, I'm gay. Still loan should be canceled. There's no point having what was it one and a half trillion dollars of money that just doesn't need to go to the federal government. Yep. Drive straight during Pride Month? I mean, I'm not doing a very good job of it, okay, so. But All I mean, I'm the, okay. I'm the gay uh, who can drive. A flight of stairs is 12 or 13. I can imagine it not being 13 because of the superstitions about 13. But 12 stairs, that, that tracks. I'd imagine it'd have to vary based on the building because like mostly the flight of stairs is like getting the vertical height for a person, mm -hmm. you know, of like how much. So stair count may vary in that, but that seems like that for an average that makes sense yeah that's why i was like yeah but that's why the average is probably 12 or 13. and then you also have to you also have to decide whether like the stairs that double back on each other because some of them are like technically like half sets you know mm -hmm. like if you if you're considering a set of stairs being from like one full floor to one full floor sometimes the stairs that double back on each other it's up you know to like a half floor and then so then you have to decide well does that does the does both sets count or does like one to a like a half floor count as a full set of stairs there's a lot of logistics that i never thought about before in terms of stair counting So, and like, how do you count a flight of stairs if it's like a spiral staircase that doesn't technically end? Because you know, there's the ones that like just keep going up through like several floors. So how do you, do you count the full flight of stairs, like the whole ass thing? I truly ask the hard hitting questions. Mm -hmm. So probably based on the number between landings, yeah, that's what I would think. Bert, I think we're I good was, on Bert. I was told it's not go straight; it's go gaily forward. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I wish I could make our truck rainbow, but I can't, so I just made it Saints Row purple. Because if you think the if you think the Saints boss is straight, you got another thing coming. Oh no, he's super pan. Oh yeah, no, the, the boss, 
whatever their gender is gay af oh yeah they're well, that's true because you can have yeah you can have um fm boss so yeah which what like a- the whole thing that i think is funny in terms of saints row is like in saints row one you were locked down to being a dude and a dude only mm-hmm. and then in the second one when they introduced where you could have a femme boss uh, there's like one throwaway line about everybody being like you look different and like that's it that's it that, like that's that's it like so you could absolutely head canon that your boss is trans if you wanted to and i think that's awesome yeah that's volition free they seem like super progressive about all that crap mm-hmm Eh, I don't care about the boat. Fuck that boat. I mean, something already did fuck that boat. True. Without any lube, too. Yeah. Oh, I can turn the engine off. I've been able to turn the engine off this entire time. But. And I, like, even more so, like, you can change gender mid game, too. Mm-hmm. In, like, three as well as four, I think so. In the. Uh, so, canon trans is 100% plausible and makes sense. Yep, yep, yep. I remember there being a line about surgery or science getting advanced. See, I never... Uh, I mean, I've played Saints Row 2. I just don't remember a whole lot about Saints Row 2's plot line. Mostly because... Crashes. Yeah. So many crashes. Might as well be inclusive in a game where you can beat somebody to death with a three-foot dildo. Yeah. 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 I mean, why not be inclusive? Also, it doesn't have any like change in the story no bus no reason to stop we're coasting pretty good so um like the legitimately the only thing that changes in the story between having like femme boss and dude boss is who does the voice acting all the lines are the same censorship is different because Female nipples are scary. Female presenting nipples, oh no, but... Also, I mean, you can get around that. Yeah. At, at least in two. I never tried to mod three, because three's fine the way it is, mostly. Um, but in two, part of the, like, the gentleman. Oh, no. It'd be fun if they just used the same voice actor and applied filters. It would. So... I just love using the zombie voice because it's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Although I would I would have lost Laura Bailey, so I would have been pretty sad about that. So. But yeah, I'm just hoping that with the with the reboot that they'll just continue on doing a good job. Any yeah, of the stories restarting, they just keep some of like the the soul of it going forward. Mm-hmm. That's stupid, it's not taking itself seriously and trying to have a good time and being peaceful. A game I really like oh god, let me not hit the the car. Um and streamed a lot was a guild of dungeoneering where you can completely mix and match all the different hairstyles, body shapes, and voices so anyone can be a mix of anything. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, Dora's making dinner. Good job, Dora. Make make that dinner. Oh. I decided to take a little tumble. Everything's fine. Ugly, ugly. I don't think we lost anything. A1 burgers. Ooh. Borgors. Borgors. Um we, have, we need to fish our borgors. We do, but we need to figure out how we want to have the borgors. Um But let me just tell me what day you want to have them and we can 
Why not? Because I'm going to have to get them out and, like, rethaw them, obviously. We can get them tomorrow if you're up for it. And have them have okay. steak if you want. We will thaw them in the fridge. Then hopefully they will finish thawing. But if they don't, then I can always... I can always make them thaw! Um... But yeah, the, one of the games that I actually really enjoyed was, um, for like inclusivity, was Boyfriend Dungeon. Like, Boyfriend Dungeon has its own problems in terms of like, story. But for inclusivity, like, your character's always referred to like, gender neutrally. Um, and like the game is very clear with like your avatar just looks like what your avatar looks like you know it's like you, if if you if you want to have like a cis male avatar that wears a dress then you have a cis male avatar that wears a dress which i think is really cool so eric is a dick oh yeah don't get me don't get me started don't get me started liquid don't get me started i have capital of opinions about the story of boyfriend dungeon and how uncomfy it made me um and because I uh, kickstarted the game. I actually have the uh, the pin on my... Uh... Play up! Um, I, my hand purse uh, has a bunch of pins on it. And uh, one of my pins is the, is the Boyfriend Dungeon Sword Smoochin pin. Um... Chalky Bar! Doesn't look like anything else really. Just a lot of poo. So I will fall asleep. Um <laughs> Fuck Eric, no way he gets my ass gets ass. And um So I actually I think I got to play the game a little bit early because I was one of the Kickstarter backers. Um and I just like I shotgunned that shit. Oh my god, I played that game. I did not sleep. I installed the game and I played it from start to finish in one sitting. <laughs> At least in terms of the story. Um, and yeah, I... Uh, so that was before the, the part... I think they patched in later like a kind of like a trigger warning uh, for the story, but... I was a, definitely a boyfriend dungeon. So, but definitely not expecting, you know, a stalking storyline right in the middle of a game where that's supposed to be about me, you know, smooching people. So, but no, I mean, my opinion, my opinion on that game is fuck Eric and fuck Olivia. <laughs> I can't fucking stand Olivia. So, I will be- I might actually be doing a playthrough of Boyfriend Dungeon when, uh, the new DLC drops. I would like to replay the game when the new DLC drops. And maybe actually go through it. So. Yeah. Cause it's it's a fun game. Like it's like the play, like actually playing the game is fun. But like fuck Eric. So never heard of it. Uh, it got some traction with. Uh, like the Hatful Boyfriend Dream Daddy fandom. Was that the same like like group that also did like the KFC dating game too? No, like the the game that did Boyfriend Dungeon, I believe, is Kit Fox, and they didn't do any of the other games, but like they actually did get the. Uh, artist for Hatoful Boyfriend to uh, design a character in uh, Boyfriend Dungeon. I see. Which, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah. So. It's a Darian! Hello! Hello, hello! Hello, Gordon! 
How are you doing? Hey, Dallas. Um. takes two that was a really fun game overall that was except for the part that we got stuck because we were dumb oh the, the lever part yeah yeah the the part where it was the uh seesaw yeah yeah that part sucked that's because oh I was and dumb. the part where you know your microphone kept breaking that one also sucked oh yeah but other than that, like, I, I did have a good hearty boohoo at that game. It's a shame A Way Out has DeNovo. Yeah. Because I know you bought it for me and everything. Yeah. Well, it's there before they ever change their minds on it, which may happen. Mm-hmm. Like, it was, like, what, three years after the fact when Nier got it removed? Mm-hmm. So... Never know. Well, same with like the Tomb Raider games. They finally got. Yeah. Well, and hopefully the next time the studio makes anything, it'll be Genova free. One can only hope. How was your night, Bendarian? Yeah, how's your day? How's your night going? Denovo breaks so many market and commerce laws. Oh my god, don't get DICE started on Denovo. DICE has capital opinions on Denovo. Yup. Yup. I mean, you can't get him started. Just ask him to, to start ranting about DeNovo, and I'm sure he will happily do it. What the f... What? You a phone? That was a thing that just... That, nope. A bus got stuck in the ground? That's definitely going to be a clip. Um, A bus got stuck in the ground and threw itself out of the ground and went flying. Who's DeNovo? It's a... Like, what is it supposed to be? An anti-piracy? It's an anti-temper... Temp, oh, anti-temper... Yeah. Um, product that PC game uh, developers can add on, so modding becomes impossible and pirating becomes more difficult. Sorry. Modding becomes uh, nearly impossible. Piracy becomes more difficult. Is that what I said? No, I think you had originally said it the other way around, but they get it. Yeah. Um, it also makes any game, regardless of the design, online requirement. Also run worse. Also runs worse and it chews up your SSDs. And when the company that owns it finally goes bankrupt, which are on the precipice of doing any day now, all the games connected to it will be bricked. What the like the devs won't be able to remove it, even? Uh, if the devs will take the time to do so, no. Oh, will. okay. So, so the games like could at least be unbricked if the devs took the time to take Genova off. Yeah, but I'm saying day one, once Genova's parent company, which is insolvent, goes bankrupt, there will be no servers for the Genova game to authenticate against. Thus, mm. you cannot play the game you paid for legitimately. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I think that would encourage devs to... At least some devs. To remove Denova then. Took a lot of them a long time to get Secure ROM out of the market, as well as games for Windows Live. So, I'm pessimistic on how the... Expeditiously, like, how quickly to do that, you know? Um... Mm -hmm. Uh, 
but really grinds my gears about them beyond all that beyond all that which is so anti-consumer is that it's exemplary of the the complete cockamamie bullshit story that game development is expensive and you can't pay your developers like a living wage and games have to be seventy dollars a, a an item to pay for these expensive game development no you're spending seven figures on a license of a product that does that actually makes the product experience for your customers worse games logs that tend to siphon information for sale and a bunch of other seedy shit games that had no bone in it also got pirated a lot yeah like the piracy protection is a minor inconvenience minor inconvenience it doesn't do it so game studios are paying seven plus figures for something that effectively does not do what it's advertised to do but does make legitimate customers experiences worse and devalues the game It's infuriating. Mom, why about me? Cause I went to go see, get a cookie. Exactly, the quit. Like the whole like lost sale fallacy is absurd person pirating is not a lost sale a person pirating wants to try out a game because there's no demo or it's not cost effective at the moment or it's just inconvenient at the time preventing a pirate a pirated copy does not guarantee you a transfer of sale moreover it just going to dissuade people from actually playing your games because you're making it less accessible exactly but you like you pirated it and you tried it out and the most common use case I've heard and this is anecdotally um, is piracy is a an avenue for game demos effectively that you can play a game without investing money up front get a feel for it and decide later on whether or not you want to pay for it. Sorry, I'm eating cookie. That's fine. Right, and I'm sure Liquid like is a good like cohort of games that at one point you pirated, you went back and paid for it later on when it was more cost effective. It's like blocking piracy does not guarantee a transfer of sales. It just that's not reality. That's not how people operate. Oh, fuck paywalls. There's browser extensions that get by all like the newspaper paywalls, and I encourage mm -hmm. anyone to use it. Well, and then there's things like sometimes there's situations with games where if you pay money for the game, none of that money is ever going to see I mean, I know games typically, like, if you sell a game, it doesn't go to the people who publish the game. Well, who who, de who develop the game unless they're also the publisher. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, in the situation of, like, the, the situation I always think of is um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, where, like, Activision essentially drove the developers to bankruptcy. <clears throat> so anytime you buy <clears throat> cookie in the wrong hole uh, <clears throat> anytime you buy Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines you're actively giving money to Activision to like reward them for putting a developer out of business or EA in general really if you're buying an EA game you're rewarding the publisher EA for for devouring good developers and infecting them with their toxicity. Mm -hmm. um, like another good example, and this is like a, 
uh, one that might be controversial is Nintendo and their, and their uh, virtual console. The ROMs. Freely available ROMs, you're selling them for 30 bucks a pop for a game that's 40 years old. You're not, you're, you're, you're just not, you're, this is not I justifiable anymore. Hi, Mira. Hi, hi, Mira. Thank you for the bang earlier. I'm pretty sure I nearly pulled a muscle in my back. Actually here now and not driving. Like, well, hello. And capitalism, like in theory, in some applications can be a reasonable system for distributing resources in some circumstances. But like oh, too many cases where we found a tool that worked in some places, humans have a tendency to apply it to more to situations where it doesn't apply and just wreaks havoc. And late stage capitalism is an exemplary of that, where we are applying it to every system we can and destroying humanity in, in general, really. Um, I also end up at the stretch. Thank you, Mira. I need to buy a hula hoop. Why? I was just standing here and my way of stretching while I was still driving was just to kind of like move my hips around as if I was very, very, very slowly using a hula hoop. Hmm. Uh, and I was like, damn, it's been a while since I've used a hula hoop. I like hula hoops. Obviously, I wouldn't do it on stream. I'm pretty yeah. sure that would be some sort of weird ass. TOS violation. Hula hoops? Nah. <laughs> Who loops in and themselves are not a TOS violation. But yes, I, I am essentially still standing up. So I I'm gonna say my stand up and stretch has been redeemed. I was just standing like halfway bent over there for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of like stretch out the back muscles. But I'm glad you're. <laughs> I'm glad your drive was safe, Mira, and that nothing bad happened. Yeah. I will probably never buy a hula hoop because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't need a, I don't need a hula hoop. Much like I didn't need any of the other like 80 billion things that I've bought. But uh, it feels good to stand up. Yeah. So thank you for that. I mean, I had gotten and stood up when I. You know, ran into the kitchen and grabbed a cookie. Cookie. I, well, I was sitting here and I was like, mmm. Brain want mint ice cream. But brain cannot have mint ice cream. It's not even ice cream, it's gelato. Um. But I was like, but I do have mint cookie. So I could have mint cookie. Everybody needs a hula hoop once. I like hula hoops. I think they're good for my ab muscles. <laughs> now like, I like hula hoops and I like jump ropes and I like the skip it's. The ones where you had like, it was, it was like the hoop around one ankle and you just kind of like skipped it around. Yeah. I liked those. What about Bop It? I never played Bop It because that required friends, and I didn't have friends. So if it so if there was a game that required friends to play, uh, I didn't I didn't really get I didn't really get any of those. Now like things shit like Simon Says I could play shit like Simon Says on my own. So that's. That's what I did. A lot of played a lot of sentences on my own. Uh, 
Like people were talking about um, your frame rates are just terrible. Um, yep, got a relog. Yeah. You don't have to ask me. You could just be like, hey, I need to relog, and I would just find a place for us to relog. Um, just let me know whenever you're ready. For... Ready. Okay, let me go stand on the road. Uh, okay. Open. Um. I know Null was part of the conversation at one point, uh, but talking about uh, something banned, garage band, rock band, I'm posing. yeah, rock band. what you do? Oh, probably because I'm still paused. And I was just like, I've never played that game ever because it required friends to play it with and I didn't have those. So. But things, you know, like... Uh... Field tank empty. If you had something like DDR, DDR you could play by yourself. So I, I played a lot of those by myself. Mm. Uh, TB. Uh, not a whole lot that's useful here. I found a little bit of diesel I'm going to pour into our tank. Okay. Sweet. Tight. Sleep is calling. Have a good rest of your evening, Liquid. Can I just climb up this? Probably not. Oh, Chucky Bar. Have a good sleeps. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. Maybe. Ah, you buttholes. Okay. I think I deleted an oil canister again. Uh, that's fine. We'll live with it. Have a good night, night. Good night, liquid. Uh, I'm gonna check. Uh, 100% gas, so not useful for us. Also, are your borgers good, Mir uh, Dura? I saw Mira's name in chat, so my brain was like, Hey, Mira. I'm like, no, I'm not person. I'm just gonna, you know, drink some. Slurp. Just drink some, gla uh, drink some gas, because I can. Good for the oh, no. bones. Everybody, everybody died. Miradura sounds very powerful. I know, right? Miradura is very powerful. And very cute. And very fun. I gotta check <laughs> and out super amazing. And see what you'll set up. Ah, uh, no, don't push the car! Let me open this door. God! What the fuck? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Man, reattaching everybody is such a pain in the butt. I wish you all would just stay attached. Why won't my family just my stay attached? What the fuck's Patricia? Patricia! Get right there. Okay. Let's see, so I've got... I still need pants. Oh, and the... Okay, there's that. Should probably actually mount my... Oh, it's like through the front windshield. Okay. Whoops, I just threw it. Hello, game. Let me have my sun visor, please. Thank you. Where's my sun? Oh no, where's my sun visor? Good thing I don't need it. <gasps> There's pants. Okay. Let's stand up. Okay. 
Cthulian's being bad. Uh, I'm not sure where my sun visor went. I think it might have uh, phased to the, through the world. You think you made too many Borger? Oh, no, it's right there. I'm pretty sure dice would help you with that, if you could. I am dice garbage disposal. Yes, dice can uh, park back Borger. Like you would not believe. How do I mount this? Where does it mount? Or is it just an attach? What? No, G does not attach. Um, my sun visor. Uh, in front of your seat upwards towards the lip of it. There should uh, be a wrench is, icon. There is nothing. I'm not it entirely sure this one's mine. Uh, hold on. Hold, please. Uh huh. It might be the wrong side because I think they're sided. Hmm. Four burger? Jeez. Dura. That sounds delicious. Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Oh, now it will work to mount. Yeah, they're sided. You were hungry? I mean, I see that. Okay, so I've got Patricia and Liquid, and Mira and Tum and Pants. And evil flowers and a Tulian. And you've got your little octopus dude, right? Yep. And we've got our air freshener. These burgers are your only meal today? Why'd you... Why didn't you make like two burgers earlier, Dura? And two burgers later? And then you could have had four burgers, but it was split out amongst two meals. You passed out. Yeah, I get that. Oh, we got stuck in the world there for a second. But take take care of yourself, Dura. Just say, just yeah. say take care of yourself. Please. Please? No! No dying, dang it. Okay. Maybe we'll continue onward. Hell yeah, let's freaking go. Oh well, I guess we're not gonna go because... The world. Uh. No dying, stop it. The world wants us to go uphill, so I have to press on the gas. Uh, our tank is still very full, so no worries about that. Also, I've managed to keep a hold of my hat and my sunglasses so far. Yay! My sunglasses are so cool. They are. I am- it is kind of a shame that, like, unless I use the drop camera, I can't really see my sunglasses, because I try to zoom in on the mirror and it's just like, oh, my sunglasses are gone. So that's a shame. But I'll live with them. I'll live with it. I'll deal with the shame. I don't know what time you wanted to go to bed, by the way. Uh, maybe Since like 20 working. minutes. Okay. Since you're like working from home to Marie. Yep. Oh, we're just going on an adventure while I try to clear out notifications out of my phone. I like the grasslands. Much less stuff to hit. Mm-hmm. So I do miss the boats. They're less common here. Uh yeah, they're less common. We have we have had a few, but we've I've also driven past some that we probably could have made a pit stop to just because like we are so good on gas. That it's not really worth the gas getting to them. Ah, right. okay. I was meaning like in the desert, like they're close enough to the road where it's not like a huge thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm meaning the same thing as you, just in different words. Uh, 
I don't know. Come on, game. Oh, no. Oh well, didn't do that bad. Don't let me forget that I need to pull the burgers out so that they can do the thing overnight. Oh. Yes. Should I go pull out like three patties? Uh, yeah. There's one specific package that has three patties in it. I'll go do that while you're driving. Here be. So, I don't remember which one it is. So you'll have to look. Don't forget to put the burgers out so they can defrost overnight. Well, luckily, Dice is doing that. So there's one package that has four and one package that has three. I probably should have written um, on the package with Sharpie. But I didn't think about that because my hands were also, you know, gross. Didn't want to, you know, get raw meat germs all over a Sharpie. And by the time I uh, from washed my hands, I'd already forgotten about it. Hello? No, there's one that... One with four. Are we stuck in the ground again? Hello? No, for some reason the handbrake was on. I'm a dumbass. I'm gonna lurk while I stop feeling ill. Yeah, no problem, Dura. Did you find the one? Okay, cool, thank you. There's four! Find it. It's the other package! It has four! <laughs> I swear to God. I'm gonna go look at this package. Pulled out the package that had four. I and put it in the fridge. So I I, I saw three patties in there. Promise you. There's four. Okay. <laughs> that like would have been a bad thing. Like I can eat three patties. It's not a problem. I know. So the thing is, is the reason that you thought the one has two patties in it is because two of the patties are stuck together. So you're just going to get that one. I, I I was trying to remove them. It's They forgot to put like the paper in between the patties. So they just like stuck together. And um, OK, so I can easily be forgiven for that because when there's no paper separating the patties, it's effectively one patty. It is effectively one patty, but it's two patties stuck together. And I'm going to try and separate them. It was just when I was trying to separate them by hand, it was not doing very well. 
Right. I was I was just like I I was just tearing the ground beef apart uh, into smaller chunks. So, but it is still two separate patties. We're just being pedantic. Okay. I mean, that's why I was fine getting them out of the freezer myself. Good night, Kay. Go bad. Good night, Kay. Thank you for stopping in. Oh, it's a gravestone. Mm -hmm. um, the building called the Gravestone Cross that has no practical use. Oh, well, let's stop this one real quick. It's just a gravestone. Uh, let's see, I think we still have everything. I don't think we lost anything. Onward we go. I do love seeing the Vista sometimes. They just come in really nicely. Oh, yeah. I thought I get a screenshot of this one. Thank you again for that overlay. Works so perfectly. You're welcome. I mean, I threw it together in five minutes while you were watching, so. You did an awesome job that I couldn't. He wanted to flashbang, y'all. Well, I was thinking like starting it all white, then fading in like the transparency in the middle to make it more like you got camera flash in your eyes kind of effect, but this is better. No, like, no, no disputing that. That was my initial thought. Got 
out of my way, Shirley. Oh, what's this barrel have? Empty. Nada. Continuing onward. I hear you about having a dog that tried to eat your entire ass. I don't know if it tried to eat my entire ass. It definitely bit it and left a scar. My right cheek. I haven't seen this scar. At least it, ha it was a scar. Maybe it faded. I was like six. So mm. eons ago. It was a rot rather named Angus. Macro time. Macro time makes it sound like macaroni. Mm, macaroni. I love. I macaroni. didn't have to make a box of macaroni. We killed for some macaroni. Hmm. But I don't want the instant stuff. I want an actual box of macaroni. But then I'd have to boil water and make macaroni. And That's it's it. midnight. That requires effort. I mean, it's not the effort. It's the fact that it's midnight. Ah, uh, fair. Because, like, I would legit do that. I would legit be like, okay, bye. I'm raining out. Like, I'm going to go make macaroni. <laughs> Maybe we'll have it tomorrow for lunch. Maybe. Because the burgers will take a while before they thaw, so that could be better for dinner. Yep. But I can, I can sit, like, there are only a few foods that I can sit and just, like, devour all in one go. And macaroni is one of them. I can literally make a box of macaroni and eat an entire box of macaroni on my own. And I can't do that for many foods. Like, I can't eat an entire pizza on my own. Not even a small pizza. I can't eat an entire small pizza on my own. But I can I can eat an entire box of macaroni and you give me a foot long sub and I will devour that piece of shit. Mm -hmm. So Necro time. I'm gonna hit. No, I didn't. Haha. -ha. I didn't hit the cactus. You know, next time we go to the store, we could probably get some hot dogs and make some chili cheese dogs. If you're down for that. I could. For a second, I thought you were gonna be like, we could put them in the macaroni, and I was gonna be like, no! Well, that's where my brain initially went. Um, so I did during college as like a treat it was macaroni and hot dog. With ketchup, because I'm yeah, weird. No. Mm -hmm. Um, but because you're a monster. I'm, sure. But then my brain went next step to hot dogs are pretty good snacks or small meals. Uh, you know, pan fry them, put them in a you know a bun, lay on some warm chili and some shredded cheese. Good. But I don't know if you'd be down for that or not. Um. I would, I like chili cheese dogs. Okay. Um, I would probably also just have regular 
hot dogs as well because I do like having just regular hot dogs. Okay. We can mix it up. Um, like hot dogs with some mustard and some ketchup and some relish, some pickle relish and some cheese and some uh, onions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just good with some ketchup and maybe relish. But yeah, we can definitely we can definitely look into chili, to cheese dogs. I would just probably want to buy. Well, I think I think one of your one of the pans we have has a, like a steamer basket in it. Because hmm. that's the way you got to do it if you want hot dogs. Is you have to steam the bun. Okay. I don't feel like you need to steam like, like the toast oven and toasting them is another good way to go, but I'm good for either. I mean, I'll, I could, I could toast yours, but I will not yeah. eat a toasted bun. Mira says, I was somehow on board with you with the hot dogs and mac and cheese until you added ketchup. I'm all right. He's a monster who likes to add ketchup to his mac and cheese. And makes it taste like uh, Chef Brady sauce. It tastes like SpaghettiOs, which isn't bad. I like SpaghettiOs, but it's very disturbing when you're expecting mac and cheese and you get SpaghettiOs. Um, I can't fair, do tuna. Oh, I love tuna in my mac and cheese. Mm. The, okay, I will compromise dice. Mm. Rotwurst in mac and cheese. I'm down with you. Like, I like bratwurst and mac and cheese. I do not like hot dog and mac and cheese. Yeah, it's some like, uh, like beer bratwurst or whatever. Yep. The or, ones that have um, cheese in them is really good. Cheese bratwurst are good. Also, like the apple, the apple cider ones. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Yeah, yep. I, no, you get no argument on me. Like, bratwurst are just better hot dogs in my book. See, they taste enough different that, and I don't know what it is that my brain's like no to hot dogs and mac and cheese, but I just don't like hot dogs in mac and cheese. I prefer tuna in my mac and cheese, but I will See, accept like for, bratwurst. For me, the only way I can do tuna is in raw sushi form. Otherwise, like the flakiness of it is like the wrong texture for my mouth. The mouth feels way off for me. Mm. Peas, I'm indifferent See. on. Like they don't add anything for me. They don't remove anything. They're just like, they're filler food for me in mac and cheese. Mm. But tuna, I, I just, you put that in my mac and cheese, you might as well throw it in the trash. I mean, we would throw it in the trash that is my stomach. Fair. Uh, but no, I mean like, I like tuna, because I also like tuna salad. I will just mm -hmm. straight up make tuna salad and fucking put that shit in, on two pieces of bread and eat it. I like chicken lettuce, salad, I mean. potato salad, and macaroni salad, but I can't do tuna salad. For the same reasons. I love tuna salad. Chicken salad uh, with some like apricot and white grapes. Uh, super good. Apple. Apple works too. Like some like fairly sweet like uh, fruit. Nothing in there. Um, but I was gonna say we were like. Uh, the treat we had like during college with me and my roommates like we mainly lived off of ramen because we were poor college students uh but once in a while we would treat ourselves to mac and cheese and we'd all pitch in hello gordon and buy hot dogs um ground beef and chicken breast cook it all up mix it in and add like salt pepper and like italian seasoning and some of us had ketchup including myself um and it was just like called uber mac and cheese it was super filling super cheap and it was, for me at the time, very tasty. Andre Saucer. Oh Lord, I'll never eat tuna and peas ever again. <laughs> peas are all right. They're just kind of like, they don't have much of a flavor. I do like split pea and ham soup. I think the ham, like the saltiness of it adds like a nice flavor to it. My mouth is completely upside down. Your mouth is upside down? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's that's one thing that you I will never make. Sorry. Split pea soup. Yep. Okay. That's fine. I hate peas. 
Nej, men det är en Yeah, split he has flavor and tuna pieces like eating from a trash can. Yeah, I feel that. I like, just piece... sit over in my corner liking tuna. <laughs> well, you and Mira could share that. It's fine. Um, split pea soup by itself, I don't think is super great. I think you need the bits of ham to add the saltiness on top of the savoriness on it to really make it, at least in my opinion, uh, where it needs to be. Again, my two cents. And I'll be happy to eat tuna with you, honey, as long as it's in sushi form. Just gonna see her enjoy my mac and cheese and tuna. I don't want peas in my mac and cheese. I just want mac and cheese and tuna. But we, I definitely, we should buy some bratwurst and have bratwurst and mac and cheese. Hell yeah. We can also get like some kielbasa and put it with the uh, pierogies. Oh, good idea. Kielbasa goes so good with pierogies. Normally, I just have the pierogies by themselves with some like sour cream. <gasps> we need to buy sour cream. Mm -hmm. well, maybe on Friday. On the... we'll... hmm? Maybe on Friday we'll go and make a mini grocery trip. Uh, grocery trip. Yep. Uh, would you mind putting some of the stuff we talked about on the out of milk? Yeah, let me do that right now before either of us forget. I'm sure everybody's sitting here like, oh, you're so domestic. I don't have anything else to do except be domestic while I'm just chugging up this hill at 60 kilometers per hour. Brought worst. That is a meat. Come on, keyboard. Thank you. Excuse me. I may not be spelling these correctly, so we can fix them later. Ah, whatever. As long I'm as I terrible know what you're at spelling. To spell. I'm terrible at spelling. As long as I can understand what you're trying to say, I don't matter. It doesn't matter. Look, I've also brought more sour cream. Uh, you want a relish. Yeah, we'd need boons. And what? hot dogs. Oh, uh, hot dogs. Uh, Buns. Mm -hmm. So I got hot dogs, kielbasa, bratwurst, hot dog buns, pickle rail, or sour cream. Mustard. Mustard. We don't have any mustard. We have mayonnaise. Hello, we daughter. Have ketchup. Hey, Snow. How you no. doing? Um. Yo, for the looks, no. Um. Cause we already have the L. We already have the mac and cheese. Um. Mm, plus with sweet relish, I could make deviled eggs. Nom, 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 nom. Sweet relish, you said? Uh, I typically get sweet relish, yeah, instead of dill relish, because I typically get dill pickles and then sweet relish. So Especially if I'm making something like deviled eggs. So I have pickle relish and sweet relish. Do you need both? Uh, no, I typically get only sweet relish. I'll remove that. Oh, well, sweet relish. Um, you need anything else for deviled eggs? Um, cayenne pepper. Hmm. You need like the cayenne red pepper? Uh, no. 
I don't use pepper in my eggs. Uh, we would need uh, actual, like an actual jar of pickles. Uh, that doesn't really have enough oil to make it worth it. Pickles. Pickles here. Um. And well, just if you just put down pickles, like I don't know what type we'll pick. Uh, once we're there. Okay. I mean, honestly, I typically get like kosher dill, but maybe we want to do bread and butter pickles or something like that. I don't know. Fuck it. There's like 8 billion pickle types at the grocery store. I was walking down the aisle and I was like, this is too many pickles for me to make a decision right now. So I didn't make one. Um. But yeah, so doubled eggs is. We have the egg. eggs in. Yeah, eggs, mustard, mayonnaise, pickle juice, sweet pickle relish. Um, obviously salt and pepper, which we have. Mm -hmm. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That all that goes, and then like paprika on top. But most of the time, I don't even do paprika on top because not everybody likes paprika. I like it. Uh, okay, then we can pick up some paprika. Get yep, I added to the list. One. Yeah. I knew there was like a red season on top. I just couldn't remember what it was. Paprika. I thought it was cayenne pepper. My bad. Nope. Some people do put cayenne pepper in their uh, things, and they're like double decks, but I don't. Okay. I like a very tangy, like vinegar double deck. I don't, uh, I don't really go for like a like a spicy deviled egg. What's also really good on deviled eggs is if you take a little piece of fried chicken and you put some honey. Mm -hmm. I might add hot sauce to make mine more spicy. Well, you can do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that sh that should be everything that I put in deviled eggs. I can I can relook up the recipe and and make sure obviously before we go shopping. Yeah. Um We'll have to... Because, like, sometimes I'll add white vinegar, depending on if I have enough pickle juice or not, but most of the time I, I prefer to use pickle juice over using white vinegar. Yep. I'm going to check this up here real quick, BRB. Okay. Uh -huh. What? Oh, okay. Were you checking if you had hot sauce? Excuse me. Hello, Erin. How are you tonight? Hiccups. Hey, Erin. No, I was I checking whether this. Out. Okay. I was checking whether or not we had um, A1 sauce, because uh, it's anything I like to add to a hamburger steak sometimes. Mm. Uh, I ordered some from Amazon, but I was doubting myself whether or not we had it. So I want to go check so I can cancel the order if we did have it. Mm. We don't, so the order will come through on Thursday, so it's all good. Okay. Cool, cool. Tight, tight, tight. Yeah, that's definitely not something that I usually have. Um, would you want like fries or anything with hamburger steak? Um, we still have potato chips. Okay. I'm glad to hear that you're doing good, Aaron. Yeah. Sorry, I have to sneeze and I'm trying not to sneeze. I'm trying really hard not to sneeze right now. Sometimes your nose is just like, hey, fuck you. And I'm like, oh, okay. Gonna try to get back on the road. But yeah, we'll, we'll uh, think about some stuff. Because obviously we don't have to buy everything that's on that list. So... I'm um, gonna think of things like better tonight or tomorrow or Thursday. Mm hmm. I 
And we'll have to see what our local grocery store has in terms of things like kielbasa. Yeah. Usually they're pretty good about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if they don't have it, we'll have to source it from somewhere else. I don't know if we have any, like, German restaurants here like we... Uh, didn't do in my hometown because like there's a really good German restaurant in my hometown that like uh, that they make all their own like bratwurst and kielbasa and, and essentially everything that they sell in the restaurant they also make like in house to just sell in their store mm. and they import a lot of stuff over from Germany to sell neat um, yeah it's really good so they're essentially they're like a, a almost like a convenience store, a butcher, and a restaurant practically. <laughs> but they're definitely like a local place, you know. Hmm. And I'm not about to go back to my hometown just to get some, you know, sweet sweet German food. I'm sure we could find something here. Oh yeah, for sure. There's enough there's enough food around here that I'm sure we could find something and source it if we needed to. Like it'd be probably be a little bit of waste because we're in the suburbs, but uh mm -hmm. definitely closer to the city we'll find stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. Ah You know what? I'm just gonna let this happen. I'm just gonna let this happen. I swear I spin out so much more on sand anyways. But I don't think it actually has any difference on the quality of driving in this game. I don't think the biomes mean shit in this game. It sounds like friction, right? Yeah. As in, yeah, I don't think sand makes the tires do worse. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting thought process. Oh god, this place is cursed. We're not stopping here. We're going. We're leaving. We're leaving the cursed place. I Our got are one. Calming? I'm glad you think so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six null reference exceptions. Ah, so ah, we are. Ah, ah. We're piecing out from that place. That place was clearly cursed, and we don't want to stop there. Also, I appreciate that, Aaron. Thank you. I mean, I try to make them calming. Except, you know, when one of the storage rooms is cursed, and... I don't, you know, want to crash the game going in there. I actually don't even think it would crash the game. To be honest, let's go. Oh, am I gonna hit a cactus? Nope. No cactus at even today. I mean, that's blatantly a lie. I've, I've hit several cactus today, both on purpose and not on purpose. So. Look at the screenshot because it's so pretty. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's Hello, the reason Jordan. I started calling uh, the really hilly areas uh, I uh, Iceland, just because like it's it's super pretty. Yeah, I have never actually had long drive crash on me, but sure as hell gets buggy. Um, I think we've, I've had a crash on it once or twice, but primarily it gets so laggy and the frame rate drops so low. I have to disconnect and reconnect to the host, my partner, um, yep. who's co streaming. Also, hello, Speedy Cat. Good to see you again. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't think we've had a full crash. But I've definitely had to re-log re because it gets so buggy, so. But my game tried really hard to crash uh, when it gave me the null reference exceptions. It lagged for a straight like 
second and a half uh, before it popped up a whole bunch of errors. So, but it's fine. We're just we're just not gonna stop there. We're just we're just gonna move along. Some. I think I understand why that error happens. I just wasn't paying attention to watch it happen. So I couldn't really test my hypothesis. I can't say that word correctly. Hypothesis? hypothesis. Yeah, I, I have a list. So it, it lists that too much. Hypothesis. Man, aren't we lucky that the bottom part of this truck is so bouncy? Yes, lucky is the word I would use for my experience of this truck. <laughs> well, okay, I mean... I mean, on my view. Okay. Uh. Right now, the truck is being a street shark, so... Yeah, true. Oh man, look at all look at all those look at all those cactus chunks. Mm. I'm not gonna try oh. and grab them in this chaos. There's one less cactus chunk. Thanks, I guess. One fewer cactus chunk. That was on my side, so I grabbed it. Not sure where the other ones even are. Are they all on your side? I don't know. I'm not sure I, I want to are. know. Either that or like in the engine or something. Hmm. Well, I looked in the back and I didn't see any in the trailer, so and I didn't mm -hmm. see any in the fuel tank. Might be in the engine compartment. Might be in the engine compartment. I just didn't want to take a look in the engine compartment because, you know. Oh, hey, look, another prison truck. Yes. Well, this is a good place uh, to remove cactus from the engine anyways. Uh, since it's not an actual, like, truck, it's just a trailer, there's no point in Trying to spiff it up. We already have one trailer and that's enough. Okay. Let me remove cactus from the car. I got one of them. Uh, I don't really see... I got one of them and I don't really see another. Is there any on your side? Excuse me. I don't see any on your side. And I don't see any like sticking out. Okay, so I'm just, I'm holding on to dear life in this truck right now, so. Yeah, let me. There might be some underneath your seat. I look, I didn't see any. Damn, this thing came in like way better condition than the one we got. Uh, but I don't think we need new tires or anything. I think we're still good. I think we're good on it. Yeah. Um, uh, actually we could replace two of the tires on this thing. Okay. But I don't know if they have... I think they might only have, like, one... Oh, no, it looks like they have two probably pretty decent tires. But I don't need the hubcap. Am I not allowed to remove the hubcap? Let me... You can. I know I can do it. I know that I can do it. It's just not wanting to work. There we go. So I will move. I'm gonna save first. I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna be smart. I'm just save first. Good plan. And then I'll remove. Just in case the physics go a little bonkers. Like they do oh. sometimes. And the cactus is on the roof of the cab for me now. Okay, so we mount and then I pick up. And I mount. Oh. My bong. <laughs> what did I do to deserve bong? Okay. It's not like. Uh, it's in better condition than the one we had. Definitely. Okay. And 
and then I'm gonna salvage this tire. Hey! Also, I'll stare up at the sun. There is no sun. And fall asleep. I don't know if you deserved it, but I wanted one. Why did I want a ball? It's much easier to change a tire in the daytime. Mm -hmm. No bonk. I mean, only if it's from you, Mira. Okay, so I'm sorry, Sabrick. That should have popped up a doggo. Bad tire. Bad tire. There you go. Oh, good tire on good hubcap. And mount good tire there. So mount good. Oh my god, Mira bunking me. Mira got the bounce. Oh, it's uh, also I think pants. Your, I think your gifts have expired, so I break. I think that's why. Sorry about that. Hey, pants. No cooldown? No, I, I intentionally made it so there was no cooldown pants. So that you all could have fun with the bonks as much as you wanted. If you spam it, though, it doesn't. Um... Dang it, Mira, I was about to do that, but I had to go finish this. Oh, thank you, Mira. Mira underscore sky a just also, gifted Seabreak a sub. Mira go, underscore be sky free. a gifted a Little T1 trailer. sub to Seabreak. They have given 19 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, Mira. Bonk. Also, is that... Me. Uh, let me go get this cactus piece. There we go. There was one on the... There was one on the trailer. Okay, I'm gonna sip again. I like how three people were all like... Yeah, we're gonna go give Cybrick a gift sub. That's how this community Look, rolls. Two people were gonna give Cybrick a gift sub. One person was just gonna give himself a sub. Almost 2,000? Oh, I didn't even look. Oh, 1970. Hell yeah. We can make it to 2,000, maybe, before we go to bed, depending on how tired you are. I'm okay for now. Okay. Because I would like to get to 2,000. Are you all having fun with the bunks? I'm going to have to actually do it where there's a little video, for, aren't I? For the bunks. I'm just going to have to find a good video for the bunks. Obviously, oh I'm not, I don't. Hmm? I have a hydrate. Oh, yeah. Mirror also gave me a hydrate. Um. Because I don't I'll want. Obvi obviously, I don't want to take Sarah Vane's. Like, uh, like, Mari's is great. So. The Albedo one? Yeah. Yeah, the Albedo one. Is it Albedo or Albedo? Because I always I don't thought know. it was Al Albedo. I don't... But I've never watched Overlord, so I don't know. I have neither. Watched it or read the manga, so I have less of a clue. Yeah, I I heard that there was some trigger warning stuff in it that I would not be interested in. So right. I was like, okay, I'll pass. All I know of her is what I've gleaned off of from AFK Arena. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I like Albedo. I just, uh, like herself. Hmm. Oh, but if you spam it... Well, last time I did the spamming... Last time we were testing out the bonk, uh, when you spammed it, it was, like, waiting, like, 10 seconds. But you have apparently... I apparently... Bonk, bonk. Second, I did fix it. So, uh, I think even when you spam it, it is, like, not waiting too many seconds in between. So... I think it's because the image itself is taking so long to fade out. So I might have to change how many, like how long the image for it fades in and fades out. Oh boy, another hydrator hydrate. I have two. Mm -hmm. My drink is on my left side and that is the side I'm using to drive. But let me see if I can get it pulled over.
Okay, I have hydrated. Twice. Also, your little, uh, thank you for the gift sub message is really cute with the gift box, Dice. Mm-hmm. That's why I, um, I commissioned that from Emmy. It's exactly mm -hmm. for that reason. Yeah, it looks really good. That's why I had to give my bot, uh, the bits to get back to me just to unlock it, because I had to put it in my third bit slot. Oh. <laughs> That's why my bot is the top bit, uh, dono right now, is because I bought a, you know, $100 bit thing and just gave it back to myself just to unlock it on wow. my bot. Yeah, that's pretty goofy. Because like affiliates don't get the uh, the special Hello, Gordon. something. Yeah, affiliates, I, I know Mari tweeted about this earlier and I 100% agree. Um, like affiliates need more emo slots. Nine slots is not enough. You know, like the free ones and the bit ones you unlock, like, uh, like the free being the follower ones. It's mm -hmm. just like the well, one thing I also want is like, I know like partners get, um, I think three subs, like lifetime subs they can give to certain accounts. Mm hmm. Affiliates get zero. Yeah. It'd be nice if affiliate got one because like typically an affiliate has like one bot account. Mm -hmm. I don't know about typically, but it's, it's not infrequent. Uh, and it would be nice to be able, so I can give it to my bot account to unlock all the same emotes that my main account has for yeah. for various things like this. Like my main account has the same box emote because it's my emote. Mm -hmm. I would like to do the same thing to my bot so I can you know make cool reactions and I can go to Emmy like give me all these cool emotes so I can use them for stuff. I also feel like certain bots should just get free subs regardless of streamer status. Yeah, they should. Absolutely. Like, stream stickers should always just, like, have free subs. Uh, but I get why Twitch wouldn't let you do that, because Twitch wants the money. Yeah. Twitch wants the sweet, sweet cash. I agree with you in concept, but I just think it's a little trickier. Because, like, yeah, like, stream elements, Nightbot, um, Onkbot for stream labs, <laughs> fuck them, but whatever. Uh, like, very common Moobot, like, very common bot account should get, like, a free sub on a given channel. I agree with that. But like when a person has like um uh a a a dedicated account for bot activity, like I have a streamer bot, I merge with mm -hmm. also stream elements. Some flexibility would be nice. Oh yeah. I mean, but I mean absolutely the, the reason is is exactly for the reason Pant said. Yeah. Why would Twitch start to offer something for free if everybody's already paying for it? Because, but, uh, you know, the... I, I, I mean, personally, I think having, like, three slots for affiliate and, like, five slots for partner would be cool. But Something a little more fair, because, like, I like to give it to, you know, my bot account and probably you and maybe Bob, or I don't know, like... Mm-hmm. Uh, something like that. I don't know. Um, With how much I'm fucking paying Amazon every single year for Prime, I should get a free lifetime sub to give to somebody. Yeah. Like partners do definitely get a lot of perks. I don't. Th I'm not disagreeing that they should get a lot of white glove treatment. Because they, you know, they built up a community that size. I just like that. I prefer that there was more support structure for affiliates to reach partners um, along that path. It, I don't know. Built into the system. Like, I know a lot of communities interwork with each other to do that support. But built into Twitch, having a support system for affiliates to, to help discovery and help growth. Either that or something like having having a tier in between affiliate and partner. Maybe. Like that's something that I would that I would like. Um, so that you know, you have you have people who haven't hit affiliate and then people who've hit affiliate and then once you hit like a certain point where it's like you haven't quite been able to make it to partner, um, but like you're 
you're still a fairly like sizable channel you just haven't been able to make it to partner yet like it feels it feels like such a shame that those people are still relegated to affiliate you know when it's like they're a big enough channel that they that they need the things that partner has mm -hmm. and it's like having to step in between that to kind of just be a, like a you're almost there like and they get a few more perks than what an affiliate has but less than what a partner has i i don't know i think that would be good but twitch is never going to do that uh you know no they're actively making partner closer to affiliate yeah oh i'm sure they would make everybody affiliate if they could well like the the revenue split they're uh one of the proposals the thinking about i know like that's super dumb Oh yeah, <clears throat> I'm just saying that I'm sure if they if they could like remove the emote slots and everything and just have everybody be affiliate and so they didn't have to spend like the server space to give people you know anything extra, I'm pretty sure they would. Yeah. Discovery is eyes are saying Twitch does not know this word. Yeah. Nah. Hover has been yeah, a no, boon. Yeah. Um. And obviously meeting people throughout the communities helps. Mm -hmm. But there's no built-in discovery system to Twitch and it, it, it sucks. Squats! Quants. I got core crunch. That's fair. Don't get me wrong. I can't do squats while I'm driving. I have to find some place to stop. All done. Thank you, Mira. Yeah, Eventually, yeah. I'll get to some of this flab worked off. Yeah, I need to add a, like a workout day to my. Well, actually, I'm just kind of waiting until I get the whole thing with the 60 days and actually get follower emotes. And then I think I'm going to sit down and actually try to make some sort of schedule. Yeah. And add like a day where I do ring fit. And then oh, a and day where I do crafting. Yeah. Apparently Mario should have already unlocked father emotes and hasn't yet. What the fuck? That's bullshit. Like that's 100% garbage. Yeah. I feel like, well, I haven't streamed because most people are now starting to get their two months, like resubs for me. So I don't think I, and I had, I didn't stream like every single day during that time, but. I'll go. Um, I mean, frequently I've, I've streamed like overnight not overnight but like you know from one day into the next um, which i know is mentioned i thought that was mentioned that 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 was technically like two days it is but i think it's not necessarily in eastern prevailing time though i think it's utc yeah but we've normally gone well how many how many is that behind uh five hours usually oh. four or five hours depending on part of the year mm. um so it's either like 7 or 8 p.m before that rolling to the next day which we don't we haven't consistently gotten before that yeah normally we're only here until like two, like one or two latest our time yeah but um i mean starting before like 7 or 8 p.m and going that late oh i mean i've started sometimes at like six yeah, but n not like every time is what I'm saying. Oh yeah, no, I just thought I just thought it meant like if I start at okay, I'm confused. Are so, they ahead of us or behind us? UTC is effectively GMT or UK time. Oh okay. For the most part, mm -hmm. just rule of thumb on that. Um, so depending on the time of year, either before 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. our time, we start. We count for that current day, and once you roll over, you go for the next day. 
Oh, because it's midnight their time. Exactly. Okay. I was very confused. I thought you were talking about that they were five hours behind us. No. Not five hours in front of us. Also, hello, Thyroid. How are you doing? I know things have been stressful for you, so hopefully... You can chill. Pants, don't get me started on time zone math or time zones or delayed savings. I have a rant for that. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on daylight saving. Daylight saving time is bullshit, and I will fucking fist fight anybody who doesn't think it's bullshit. So, I will, I will. I'll go this way, whatever the right. Well, let me get out and help. You went right, I'll go left. Yeah, I went right. Time ah. zones are horrible. They are contrived by man to torture other man. It's just, it's a horrible thing to beset upon the zeitgeist. Well, there's two different reasons why we have daylight saving time and both of them are dumb. Our org has offices in Minnesota, Arizona, and Florida. Our tools are a mix of local and UTC. Why? Why? What? And you have friends in the UK. Yeah. Time zones are a bitch. So. Oh, well, let me sleep, by the way. Yep. There's two different reasons why, according to legend, why we have daylight saving time. One of them was literally a guy wanted to go golfing after work and it would be dark when he went golfing after work. So he petitioned to have daylight saving time so that he could get off work and still go golfing. And it, that's really dumb. Um, and then B, the other one was that the guy wanted to go like insect hunting. Uh, and he couldn't go insect hunting uh, uh, in the daytime. So, Pants, when you say CST and ESD, do you mean the colloquial standard time zone or the actual standard time zone? Because there is a difference. Uh, because you mean like the time zone effectively were, you know, New York or Chicago. So it's Eastern Prevailing Time and Central Prevailing Time, respectively. Standard Time, technically, is only from fall to spring in those areas, as, as in terms of observance. Correct, isn't like the observance of those like example cities. Also, oh, yeah, I heard all about that on the on Discord. And when our team is in in the states and they observe today, so it's, it is prevailing. Okay, cool. Um. I will say, though, for the people in Arizona, depending on where they are in that territory, they may not be in prevailing times, and they may be only in daylight year-round. Yeah, I saw it. I've been, I've been keeping up on Tom's Discord and stuff. Yeah. Even if I don't say anything, it's just most of the time I'm asleep when you all are talking, so... I then don't get in on conversations that I've been asleep for several hours for. Because um, I am the type of person that feels like that's rude, even though if somebody else did that, I would not feel it's rude. I just feel if it is, it is rude if I personally do it. Also, I did not find any more of these. Nothing to be sorry about, Cyboid. I get that it's a stressful situation. Oh yeah, Pants, I get it. Um, believe me, I get it. It's... Time zones, daylight savings are so easily to get wrong or incorrect depending on the use case. And it's frustrating because it's not like a mis like a it's not that it's a complicated topic, it's that it's so nuanced. Mm-hmm. We should just get rid of daylight saving time. 
We should. I thought, babe, I thought in America we were going to. There was a bill that passed the Senate, I think, so it very well could. It's probably just dead because they're too busy waggling their dicks at each other. That's also true. Did you need any help with the barrels? I'm moving them to the truck. I'll need one of us to be on top one to have the uh, barrels too. So okay, go be on, be on top or top. bottom. Okay. I don't know if I can actually get up there. Grab. Ugh. Grab. Ugh. Grab. Well, that one didn't have as much in it, but still a good amount. Grab. Yeet. Oh, grab. That, that was a lot. Yeet! 1347. Damn, we're almost halfway on that. Yep. This was well worth the. Uh, well, I have to get out. So it's neither passed nor failed. Yeah, I figured it was backburnered in the house. Fucks. Road is over there. So road is behind us. Ah, I did the wrong thing. At least in the house, it has a better chance of passing. It just. Prioritization of the house is nuts, but at least the track record, of the track record of the house actually passing stuff is a little bit better. Senate is where things go to die, so it got past that hurdle. So I'm I optimistic. But just... you know, I just want them to pass it now. I just want them to pass it now, like right now. Yeah. No, yeah, they're too busy doing other things that are meaningless. Yeah, they're too busy dick waggling at each other. Um, but I'm I, again, I'm crossing my fingers. Um, and it's it's sad. Oh, well, it's not sad, but it's um moderately unfortunate that a good swap of people would not appreciate the boon of efficacy and quality of life it's going to bring to a lot of people. Oh well. Same pants, same. 100%. Uh, nothing really useful in here. I'm just pessimistic mm. about it getting passed. Um, I want it to pass. I, there's not really any reason why it shouldn't pass. No, it has. I need daylight saving at this time. Yeah, it has bipartisan support both in the parties and in the populace. No one wants thank, it. No one wants it. Bonk. Nobody wants it. Hey, flowers. Um, I don't even think... Like, the people it was supposedly made for, quote, end quote, uh, the farmers, like, don't even want it. Nope. Nobody wants it. It sucks. Oh! And we lose billions of dollars every year adapting to it in terms of lost efficacy. Uh, ah. We lose... Well, this is kind of sad, but we also lose, you know, a lot of people to, like, stressful outcomes because of it. Um, mm hmm and for what? We're not saving anything. We're not benefiting at all. Hope you're doing good tonight, Eva Flowers. Right, Pants. It was, it was like, it was either overwhelmingly um, passed, like super majority passed, or unanimous. Like, there has been no other bill in the past 20 years I can think of that fit that category. Not one. That's how ubiquitous people want to get rid of this stupid thing. Yep. Well, because one dude wanted to play golf in the daytime. There was that theory and there was also the bug one, right? Yes. I looked it up. I'm more I'm familiar with the... You're, you're more familiar with what one? The bug one. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't pull this shit out of my ass, um, by the way. I, I did legitimately look it up because I wanted to be correct on what I said because everybody touts that it's farmers who wanted it and who came up with it. And I was like, ah, press X to doubt. 
Um, so, uh, I press X, X to doubt, and when I pressed X to doubt, and said I got Jason, so. Mm. Um, Jason. Dra Jason. Uh, almost certain that is not true. Yeah, and it's not true. There's two reasons. One, a guy wanted to play golf after work in the daytime. And the other is a guy wanted to go collect bugs after work in the daytime. And those and are I the two people who say that they were the ones who came up with the concept of daylight saving time. Mm-hmm. And if I recall correctly, the, the bug one, I think, is from New Zealand. So, I don't remember, but... Yeah, he was just, like, he was just pissed because he he wanted to go collect bugs. And he was like, I can't go collect bugs at night, so let me have some Ruin everyone else, yeah. Everyone else disliked that, so... Uh, he, he was clearly the most important. Same with the guy who wanted to go play golf. He was clearly the most important person in the world, so he needed to, you know, ruin everybody else's lives so he could go play golf. I'm doing evil, not good. Good is gross. Okay, I'm sorry, evil flowers. I hope you are doing super evil. You can collect bugs at night. I've done it. I know. But this guy was obsessed with the fact that he could not collect the bugs that he wanted to collect in at night. I guess he wanted to collect bugs that only show up in the daytime or something. It's dumb. Daylight saving time is dumb. And it should just not exist. It should just... Yep. We should just have standard time. Or just daylight time. Just stop shifting back and forth. Because you're wasting everyone's sure. lives. True. I just feel like it would be harder to get everybody used to saying like central time eastern time something like that i think i feel like it would be easier to just have people initially just still call it just eastern standard time e central standard time stuff like that pacific standard time i agree with you with the colloquialism of it the only caveat being like places like arizona and hawaii that don't follow it already mm. or, or, or like arizona specifically i know is by most of arizona is always in daylight time Oh, they're always in daylight? Why are they always in daylight time instead of standard time? That's how their bill got passed. That's not all of Arizona. That's it's most of it. You know, okay, then I guess I, we would just we would we would just change everybody to be whatever the people who are already got rid of the stupid thing. We just we I, just Oh, the bill that passes to make daylight savings permanent, yeah, so it'd be permanently in daylight time. So it'd follow Arizona's, Arizona's model, which I'm perfectly fine with. I don't care which one we settle on, as long as we stick with one and Strickland. just keep it year round. Yeah. I don't care. Call it whatever you want. Yeah. Pick whichever one you want. Doesn't matter. The switching twice a year is bonkers. Yeah. Yeah, no. So I, yeah, I'm perfectly fine with. I'm perfectly fine with just picking one. That's all I want. It's just. We're in a desert, lots of sun, always daylight. Shit. So, like, that's my thing is like, I thought like, because it's standard time, not daylight time, that that's the one that they would want to use for the terminology. But if they wanted to use the terminology of daylight time, fine, just pick one. <laughs> and then get rid of the thing in the middle and just move to like Eastern time and central time and mountain time and pacific time time zones are so annoying i'm less angry about time zones than i am about daylight saving time because it's not even daylight savings time it's daylight saving time there's no s but everybody calls end. it daylight savings time. Yeah, there's no S on the end. Yeah. And it's like, no, it's daylight saving time. It, there's there's no S. Drives me crazy. What big daylight is permanent, but colloquially everyone will still call it standard time. Yeah. Fine. Cool. 
Yeah, whatever, whatever they pick. I'm good with it, just... Quit making me suffer. <laughs> I mean, that's not gonna happen. My entire existence is suffering, but, um... Ah! Spin out. Exactly, Mira. Call it whatever you want. Just pick whichever one you pick. Pause Make permanent. it the standard, yeah. Yeah. What is that? Oh, that's just a boat. We should have Earth time where everyone just fo follows Greenwich Mean Time. That's what UTC See, I is. I don't know if I'd like that. I would love it. Because that way you can say, I want to meet you at 5 o'clock no matter where you are in the world. It's the same 5 o'clock p.m., let's say. Yeah, I just would feel really weird if it was like... 5 o'clock p.m. and it's like nighttime. I don't know if that makes me feel weird. I think that's, that's force of habit and just like association with past values. Like, why is 7 p.m. acceptable time for nighttime versus 2 a.m. or 10 a.m.? There are arbitrary numbers in, in letters. True. I'm just used to the idea of noon being when the sun's at the very top. Well, even today, that's not even true. Like, it's depending on where you are in a time zone, the sun's not directly above head. Again, depending on what time zone you are, where you are in, and what phase of the year you're in. What? So they've lied yeah. to me my entire lifetime. It, it's close, but it's not precisely directly overhead. It might be, but it's not guaranteed to be. Just use a 24-hour clock instead of a 12-hour AM, PM. True. That would help too, yeah. 12, tw 24 hour clocks are good. I just, 24 hour clocks are hard for me because I have to do math. So. Um, so using a 24 hour clock style is hard. Um, because like I do have to like, I have to pause and because I have oh, concentration issues, by the time I'm done, like doing the conversion in my head, the thought I was having is probably gone. So. Oh. Stop that. Slow down. It probably in that ballpark, Mira, but it, it still may be off a bit based on your latitude, longitude, and, um, Again, what time of year it is, because the first axis tilt will throw it off a few degrees depending on the part of the year you're in. I'm learning so much today. So back in the day before time zones were established, everyone was like noons at directly above the, the head um, in my town square. Yeah, that was yeah, that that concept was fine in like small like populations but like when you have long range coordination it just falls apart immediately true because if you can go three towns over and it's a different thing then no slowing speed up no 100 percent pants i like utc i will tolerate time zones as long as there's no daylight saving anywhere period that everyone has no shifting around throughout the year just wherever you are that's your that's your offset to use utc yeah that's it and clean up the lines on him please like it's stupid that you can go into like what was it cambodia drive straight north and, and, and change time zones like three or four times through like uh india and china and then into uh, mongolia and russia mm -hmm. like you're going Directly north and south, your time zone offset should not be changing. Isn't but there a state in the United States that, like, halfway through it, it changes time zones? That's Arizona. Yeah. No, I you're... mean, like, there's just a time zone line, I thought, between... Maybe it's between, like... I don't know. I might be wrong. Well, in Arizona, if you're in the fall to spring part of the year, going north and south within the state will go make you hop back and forth between time zones, because... Most of the states will be still be uh, uh, savings, 
But you'll be going through the standard portions, no. which are like the, the tribal areas. That's not what I'm meaning, though. I thought there was one state where, like, part of it is in central and part of it's in eastern. Maybe. There's probably a big correlation between being in software computer field and appreciative UTC. I agree. I, I think there's probably a, a strong correlation because if you had to deal with time zone bugs in software, you want UTC for every fucking thing. I know I do. Oh, living in Arizona, daylight saving for other places is super weird for me living here. Yeah, I, c I can. I can definitely see that, Evil Flowers. It is super weird. You guys got it right. A thousand percent. Good job. <laughs> just don't leave it up to the states. Just don't be like, it should be a states thing. No, just fucking make, just get rid of it. Yeah. Nationwide. You start in the southwest corner of Kansas and drive north. You'll start in central and pass through mountain. Okay, maybe that's what, and go back to that central. That might be what it is that I'm thinking of is, is like Kansas. Yeah. Um. I knew there was one state where it was like, in the state, straight up, you change. And it's like, that's so stupid that like, you could be living in a town and one town over, the person is like, in a completely different time zone from you. But you're like, yeah. you know, only a certain number of miles away from them. That's just, that's dumb. North, Southwest Indiana from Eastern to Central to Eastern. That's what, yeah, yeah. Southwest Indiana, I think is also the one I was thinking of. So, that'd be nice to have if they just cleaned up the lines. Because it's, it's ridiculous. Like, I don't care about the, the middle of the state. There should just be like longitudinally a line because that's what the motivation is. When you go on oh, far enough see. east and south, like, the time should shift to be more appropriate within that day. Like that's the motivation. Oh, see, I I feel like it should be based on state lines that you should not. Oh, Mira, don't get me started on half time zones. I think Florida, Tennessee, and Kentucky are like that between Eastern and Central. The only one I would potentially say should sh should be split for a time zone would be something like Florida because it has that like really long can handle to it but i feel like a state should not be split into time zones your state should just be one time zone i could understand that would be hard with something like texas or like florida kansas but why are this just rocks here? Um, uh, i i'm fine with the just aligning to a longitude to where 6 p.m makes locality sense that being a particular phase of the sun in the day roughly no matter where you are that if you're in the same state you're moving back and forth you're in the same time zone but 6 p.m is vastly different experiences even though you're both in quote eastern time zone that makes less sense to me as an experiential thing i have not done my squans yet thank you for reminding me i have to uh Become a Hydra for a second. Okay, let me get out and do my squats. I have beyond time zones, longitudes are make the clock experience for people the closest to uniform. And I agree with Mira, no half time zones. Why why add more to the bullshit we already have? What are you doing, Mira? I only do five. Oh my god. What is happening here? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Why is Mira counting? Six. Ow, I smacked my microphone on the way up. Ow. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 
Okay. I mean, I do 10 total. Also, I'm not sure why my squads got moved up to being 750 points. They're supposed to be 500. I wonder if Twitch changed them to be 750. If they're on smart points, they may have been adjusted. Yeah, I didn't think they were on smart points, but... Maybe they got stuck on smart points. I'll have to move them back down to 500. They've been 750 for quite a while. Huh. When did I move them to be 750? I'm so confused. What did I do past me? They're supposed to be 500 because I do... I do five squats for 500 points. It's like the people who do 10 squats for 10,000 points. For 1,000 points. Not 10,000 points. That's a lot of squats. That'd be like 100 squats. Squints. Squints. I have an iron booty at the end of that. So you owe me five more? Oh, you might want to close your door, by the way. I will try. Um, next go. building stop, you want to work for calling it a, a, a night there? Yeah. I'll do the five squats then. I'll give you, I'll give you five more, Mira. Of course, of oh goodness, Mira. Trying to help you in that snack of yours. I mean, it's still not getting. I have not actually. I haven't looked at my butt in a while. I don't like looking at my butt because it looks bad compared to, you know, like my body isn't going to look as good as it did when I was like 18. And, like, logical Sari brain understands that, like, bodies do body things. And you... You know, you just have to, like, you have to deal with that. But... Emotional Sari brain is like my butt doesn't look good anymore, and it used to look good, and now it doesn't look good anymore. Um, and I feel sad about the fact that my butt looks bad. Not look bad, it looks great. No, it's like a bunch of cellulite and stuff. And my brain, logical brain, is like cellulite is normal. Cellulite is a thing that people have, especially people who are assigned female at birth. Um, because of the way that your fat distributes in your cells. Um, but then emotional Sari brain is like, but cellulite bad. Um. Um. Does it look better than it did a month ago? I have no idea because I haven't looked at my butt in the, a while. Um. More importantly, do you feel like the exercise is helping? I, it's definitely helping my thighs. I can feel a big, big, big difference in my thighs. Um, Dice thinks my butt always looks good. He's not a good marker for if it looks good or not. Sorry, he has a nice butt. I've been taking the stairs at work instead of the elevator. Making it up five flights without panting was a good feeling when I reached that point. I still can't make it even up one flight of stairs without panting, but... One of the problems is that I was diagnosed with exercise-induced asthma, like, very young as a child, so I was always discouraged from doing exercise. Um, so... Any of the activities that people normally did uh, to encourage exercise, I never really did as a child or even growing up to be an adult because if I did, I would have an asthma attack. So, um, 
Hooray! But that's why I'm trying to get into things like Beat Saber or like Pilates or yoga and stuff like that so that maybe I can work on getting exercise that doesn't necessarily involve cardio and making my uh, asthma worse. And Have squats is one of those things. If you ever want to try and target more of the glutes, you can always do oil riggers. What the hell are those? Uh, it's where you're on one knee on your hands and you lift up a leg from resting on the floor and then up. Sort of like the, uh, you know, the, like the oil rigger, like old timey things. Where it goes up and down, your foot goes up and down, you, you have your, that the leg you're exercising straight. Uh, it just yeah, goes to the I've floor just and then never up. heard it called that. That's all I, I heard. heard. I've just heard them call, be called be called like lifts. Oh. <laughs> um, let me know if you want to try to have a normally scheduled beat saber. Yeah, absolutely, Mira. I'll let you know. I need to. Um, hello, Lagrange method. I will hydrate. I'm attempting not to smash this into a pole. I keep seeing houses, but they're like very far in the. Ah, they're very far in the distance. My posture is good, Lagrange method. Thank you for checking. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm being serotonin. Hello. How are you tonight? I hope you're good. Or if you prefer, I hope you're evil. <laughs> oh. Just in case that's what you want. I mean... Not everybody wants to be good, so I'm, I'm trying Hello, to be inclusive. Gordon. It's Pride Month. Inclusivity yeah. matters. Uh, I'm doing all right. Most Absolutely, here. Yeah. So there's probably a mean, house. Okay, we're probably going to be winding down for the night really soon, so unfortunately, I'm on the timing. Um, we'll find someone good to raid. Uh, you're eating good dessert? What dessert are you eating, Lagrange Method? Dessert? We're not, we're not, we're not getting out of here until I know what dessert this is. You've said the good word. And if you can, please post some, post some pictures in the, in the food channel. Because whatever you post you've is said, always so good. You've said the good word. The word is dessert. Yeah, pride screams a gay. Yeah! I mean, I have to scream in like, arrow ace, but... Yeah! Also, there's a big hole in the world, so uh, be careful about that. Okay. Cherry almond tort. Ooh. I'm jelly. Every time you post pictures of food, I just think I am also Hi. really jelly because, like, you have a good knack for either making or finding good food wherever you are. Um, and it's appreciated. So I have the desire to do something. What's that? There's a hole in the world. Uh huh. You said that. And I have a fridge. You gonna throw a fridge in the hole? I want to throw a fridge in the hole. Oh, it's Valish Pride Art. That's nice. Oh yeah, Valor did a uh, Pride Art. Yeah, I love everyone's Pride and Pride Art. I think my Pride one is fucking staying. So. Good. Also, I found a bed. There's also a toilet. There's just a whole lot of stuff that needs to. Oh, uh, I'm gonna look go. at the food pics now, right now, because that's not waiting. Okay. Well, well, I'm oh, busy. Oh, that looks so good. Uh, sacrificing things to the world hole. Hmm. How am I gonna get this bed out of this door? Oh god! Ah, oh, fuck yeah, yeah bud! Indeed, oh, Mira. fuck yeah, bud! Thank you for posting the food pics. I love, I love seeing that stuff. And I'm not even the foodie in the family. Sorry's the foodie. I'm the foodie. This is a very weird angle. 
I need it to be daytime when I sacrifice stuff to the food to the world hole. Doggo. Go in there. No, go in the go in the world hole. You have a Why can't I sacrifice a UFO to the world hole? You have a lot of pride emotes right now. Well, that's good. It means we have a good community. Um. I mean, if I had e more emote slots, I pr would probably have made one for as many of like the major flags as I could have. Um. But obviously, I couldn't do that, so... I That's just, my set. Uh, I just had to, you know... Make one... For as many as possible. You're just good. Um, You're just good. It's very inclusive. Yep. And I was going... Uh, it's currently sitting in... Uh, emote waiting hell. Mm hmm but I did put the old pride flag uh, with the shake. So it's a, so it looks like a, a very uh, excited about pride. Funny. Aw. Disappointed. There's no way I'm getting these cars into, um, into the pro in, into the world hole. I'm still yes. pretty biased towards um beyond your uh, emote, honey. Like Nick's emote, the animated one. Well, I can't fucking. I, I, yours is my favorite. His, his is my second. But I, I like how it's inclusive, and I like the animation on it. I would have gotten an animated one if I knew how to animate. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not making comparisons. Oh, I need to sacrifice his arm to the world hole. Give me a okay. And then I can be done. And then I can be done. And then I can be done. Ah! I feel better. The world hole has been fed. I wish I could see this stuff down there, but I can't. <laughs> I do make a good point. Uh, my point was I don't know how to animate. Try jumping in. Uh, I will no. have to save first. Okay. Okay, I have saved. So at the end. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll switch my end screen to find someone to raid. Okay. Because you're because you're busy doing all that. Mm-hmm. We'll have to find somebody to raid while I'm uh, falling down a hole. Okay. We have High Fun Days, Tank, Jojo, Valor, Apple. In the arms of a Daniel. Oh, look at everything so far up there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, want to do Valor since she just got back? Yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards Valor. Okay. Well, I will stare up. Uh, let me get her peeled up. Okay. I'll do my clothing Good. spiel. Talk to you in a bit. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out and the gift subs and just generally just being awesome appreciate all of you um so there's all my social links not all yep we want to go raid vibranium valor she just got back from vacation and she's awesome and we want to show her some love um but before you go wherever you are you're appreciated you're valid hope you have a good day a good evening good night 
above all else, good luck. Bye.